Welcome to the stream. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so turns out, so yesterday is progress with Dondoko Island. You know how like we got rank three on stream? And then I really wasn't far from rank four at that point in time. So, <laughs> him. <laughs> It, apparently going from rank 3 to rank 4 was really easy, and then going from rank 4 to rank 5 was even easier. Like, I didn't have to do any work for rank 4 to rank 5. It just went right into one, to one another. I didn't complete it, though, because I wanted to finish Dondoko Island on stream. So that's how we're going to start today, is that I'm going to do rank 5 on stream. But it, it technically, I didn't actually play that much yesterday because I had already done all of the Dondoko Island work the, the previous day. So yeah. All right. All right, Ping Me Club. Chapter six, plot. We will be doing plot today for sure. But yeah. Let me see how we look in here. Welcome, everybody. Needless to say, I'm excited to see how much money I get from being rank 5 on Doko Island, because rank 4 gave me $100,000. So I am so rich right now. So uh, going to rank 5, let's see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, let's pin this comment. I remember. Let's go. Oh... <sighs> Um, I think it's about the same. I remember with Ichiban Confections, it took me, I think, around the same time to finish that minigame as this one did around the same time frame. But yeah, what I like about it is, like, you can keep playing these mini games and just keep getting money. So even whenever you hit rank 5, it's an easy way to get a lot of money in the game. <clears throat> but yeah, also I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit better today. My breath is a, a, is much improved from yesterday. So yeah, no need to worry about that. It still might be there a little bit and I'm self-conscious about it, but yeah, at least, at least it's better. <laughs> We're good. You just lost five hours to Dondoko Island. Oh, um, eh, I mean, you're, you're fine. <laughs> That's how it should be. You're doing, you're doing good. You're on five stars? Yes. Um, we're going to be doing it on stream, so technically I didn't hit five stars yet, but we just have to do the last step where you have to fight the washbucklers, so the fighting I will do on stream here, yes. So we're just going to finish it up. It really does feel easy with having guests and just searching around. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely... I think once you hit rank three, hitting rank four and five comes real easy, because I didn't have to work for those at all. <clears throat> I tend to get super strong stuff immediately if I can. I haven't bought um, any materials yet, or uh, like any gear with the money. I still just have a fuck ton of money. I should go back to the weapons girl though. I haven't like upgraded anything in a long time. I feel like I, I should. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was already ready for rank 4 and 5. It was really, really nice. We could buy so many drinks. Dude, you're so right. I have so much money. I love that. $177,000 is what I have right now. And I don't know what to spend it on, man. Like, I could probably buy the best weapon in the game for all I know. I'm just... I'm just ready. We could play so much karaoke. Oh my god. So $177,000 divided by five. How many karaoke sessions is that? Google, our calculator, divided by five. That is 35,400 karaoke sessions that I could do right now. That's a lot. Oh, and we're not even rank five yet. So once I hit rank five, I'm gonna get another buttload of money. And that's even more karaoke. Can you imagine? Aw, yay! I'm glad you guys enjoyed yesterday's You Laugh, You Lose episode. It was fantastic. It was so nice to just 
do an episode with somebody else, especially when whenever Lee is a friend. So yeah, it was it was great. I'm glad you guys really enjoyed that. So needless to say, how do you guys feel now that you kept shitting on me for saying that I was bringing on like a fake friend or like, you know, yeah, a friend on you laugh, you lose. Y'all doubted me. I can't believe you doubted me. Oh my God, I was so hurt. I'm like, no. <laughs> I have real friends, and I'm bringing them on. No. That's around 1180 hours of karaoke. That is way too much. I retract my doubt and apologize. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But yes, Lee is a real person. Um, to be completely honest, I also asked um, Johnny. And Johnny's response was, I'm a boring person who doesn't laugh at anything. Ergo, I would ruin your episode. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever, bro. So uh, yeah, so Johnny doesn't think he laughs easily. <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah, he doesn't laugh easy, so he didn't want the episode to be boring. That was Johnny's excuse. He's great guest because it would be a great challenge. I know. I feel like I just have to do some convincing, you know. Be like, so people really want to see you in one of my you laugh you lose episodes. Maybe I'll just like gaslight him a bit. <laughs> just kidding. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. I really want to play Persona, oh my god. It sucks, it sucks so much. Everyone's enjoying this game. The game hit 1 million sales yesterday within the first week of launch, which is insane. Like, oh my god. And and everyone's talking up the game so much. And I just, okay, now I want to play Persona 3 Reload. Before I was like, I want to play, but I'm more excited for Yakuza. Now I'm like, okay, now I gotta play Persona. Like, fuck. I never thought I'd say that. Wait, you just saw that a presidential candidate in your country used Ace Attorney character sprites in a diagram explaining the signature verification process. More reasons I need to play Ace Attorney. <laughs> Yeah, Sega's doing good this week with those two re releases hitting one million. That's uh, that's a lot. And they're gonna keep growing too. They're these both of these games are gonna keep growing in sales. It's really it's a lot. Like I I'm not gonna lie. I feel like by the end of this RPG craze that I'm gonna get burnt out with Yakuza and then. FF7 is another very, very large game. I'm expecting the rebirth to be like 60 hours at least, which is longer for an FF game. Usually, usually Final Fantasy games, you beat in like 40 hours, I'd say. So like, I think rebirth is meant to be longer, like 60 hour range, which, uh, yikes. <laughs> and I was even thinking about playing Grand Blue. I don't know how big Grand Blue is, uh, but it piqued my interest. But it's just these release dates are too crazy. And I still want to play Unicorn Overlord and then Persona 3 again. These are all really long games. It's just so exhausting. Yeah, Ace Attorney I feel like is gonna just feel really nice. Exactly. Yeah. You need to be done with at least Yakuza 8 before FF7 comes out. I think you can. I mean, FF7 is 20 days from now. So 20 days, you could do it. I actually think that we'll be able to beat Yakuza within 20 days too. We should be able to. How many streams is that? Let me count the streams. So that is five next week five the week after that, and then three the week after that. So that would be 13 streams left. I can definitely beat Yakuza before that comes out, yeah. 
We can do it. Renegade, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really, really appreciate that. Aiden Chronicles was on my list as well, yeah. That one was on my list, but I'm just so overwhelmed and I really just want to play Ace Attorney. <laughs> I, just, I just want to play Ace Attorney, man. That's all I want in life. I don't like I, the idea of editing 20 plus VODs. Hey, you better let me know if you're ever tired of it because I'll take over. That's what I do. I just take over. You just let me know. But the thing is, I'm taking my time with Yakuza, and it feels really nice to be taking my time with it. Like, we do a little bit of plot every day, a little bit of side stuff every day. Okay, a lot of side stuff every day. But I, I really like that I'm taking it slow. <laughs> because I really enjoy this game a lot, and it deserves my attention. My full, uh, like, slow attention. So, yeah. At least editing every stream, I guess, isn't as intensive because I feel like there's been less and less markers coming out of every stream just because we're taking it slow. So hopefully that helps. <clears throat> hopefully no shadow drops during the inevitable Nintendo Direct, right? Um, yeah. I mean, there's been a Nintendo Direct in February. I think every year for the past, like, five, six years. It's been a long time, so... Unless... The only thing is... I, the only thing I can see happening is that they actually don't do this Nintendo Direct this year. Which would be really weird, but they, they might not do it because of their new console launch, which might fuck up what they do. Um, like, it might fuck up their norm because of that. The highlight video sold you on Tactica? Yay! I'm so glad to hear that. The first few uh, are so story How do you kind of taking my time building a narrative timeline? Oh, sure. Take your time, take your time, do whatever you think is good. I'm curious about that. Because <laughs> I'm so used to just like taking the story as is um, for, for videos. Just like in order. Maybe a partner showcase instead. Like, oh, an indie showcase? That'd be really, really cool. I would I would like that. You can buy the entire Yakuza series from zero to seven for $56. That is eight games for $56. What a steal. That's crazy. Also, I have like a mini Ahoge like happening here. <laughs> <laughs> I am the main protagonist now. I, sometimes I don't know what to do about this. Okay. There, it's gone. Chapter 3 highlight video. You know what? I'm really glad that I'm not editing myself crying because I've done it enough times. I hate editing myself crying. It's terrible. Nah, bro. It's so awkward. It's really awkward to edit yourself having a breakdown and then you have to go through it yourself. No. <clears throat> what an actual steal. I know, isn't it? And yeah, we will be doing story today. I promise you that. The story will absolutely be happening today. We might even finish chapter six. Actually, there's a good, actually, we will be finishing chapter six today for sure. Cause uh, we're at that like final battle series of battles section, which always ends chapters. So that'll happen. I just want to hit rank five in Dondoko, which shouldn't take like, shouldn't take too long to finish that up. And I also saw one sub story pop up on my map yesterday. And I was really confused about it cause it wasn't there before. And I don't know what I did to trigger it, but I had a sub story pop up. The guided video? Yeah, I had to edit the guided video. 
That was awful. I had, and, and you know what? I gave up on editing the guided video at the end because I didn't want to like edit my breakdown that I had at the end of Gaiden. I didn't want to edit it. I didn't want to watch myself cry. So I just ended up leaving a majority of the scene in there because I just, nope, didn't want to watch it. Because of course, whenever I like watched the ending of Gaiden, my playthrough of Gaiden, I ended up crying while editing and it's just awful. I don't want, <laughs> don't want that to happen. You just found out that Tomi's actor is the lead man of the J-pop band that, that that did the Jujutsu Kaisen opening. What? In, in I'm, I'm, yeah, in Japanese, I'm assuming, but like, well, whoa. Yeah, RGG gets crazy actors for their Yakuza games. I really don't get how they afford them. Cause they really shell out a lot of money for like the big actors in the industry. The Japanese voice actor is a famous singer. How do they afford this? Every Yakuza game is like this. <laughs> they they don't cheap out on going for like the big voice actor like big actors. It's crazy. He doesn't have karaoke songs because they can't afford his voice. <gasps> Yo, that makes sense. I was wondering why Tomi didn't have a karaoke song. He would have been too expensive. Probably. You know what? I could see that happening. Or maybe I didn't come across it yet. Maybe, maybe it actually comes out later. Oh. Wait, you have I'm Fading Away on loop? How do you listen to I'm Fading Away and not cry every time you hear it? How? Yeah, getting Danny Trejo in this game is fucking insane too. Jesus. They're really going hard. Man. Who says I don't? Oh, so you willingly just make yourself cry every time? Oh my gosh. What a gamer. <laughs> you know what my goal in life is now? I have a new goal in life. Is to become a big enough content creator where RGG puts me in their game. But I have a long way to go for that, dude. We are we are so small. Yeah, no, I haven't watched Jujutsu Kaisen yet, but I will be watching it. I think it's the next anime that I'm gonna start watching after I finish Bleach here. Bleach, I'm on episode 210, so we're almost there. Because I skip all the filler, so it actually is going by pretty fast. So once I finish it, I finish rewatching Bleach, um, then I will uh, go and watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Just like Kason, yeah, I don't know anything about Kason. I literally, I know nothing about her. But um, uh, yeah, I know all I know is that she probably is a very, very big creator with hundreds, thousands, probably millions of followers. <laughs> And I am not at that level. So I'm gonna work really hard to get at that level. And then I, and then I become, you know, in a, a an RGG game, which would be incredible. <laughs> I would cry of happiness. Oh, they did announce a remake for One Piece, yeah. Honestly, it kind of kind of needs it. The beginning of One Piece is a bit, uh, it's a bit rough, but it has the good vibe still. Hmm. 
I will literally take being a random NPC walking down the street, please. I will pay to be in the game. <laughs> I want to be a Sujimon. Oh, that'd be awesome. I want to be a Sujimon now. Yeah. But y'all, I want to play video games. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm going to cut the, I'm cutting it off. It's over. It's, it's, we're done. We're done. Okay, I want to play video games. I want to finish Don Doko Island. So we're, we're, we're playing. Um, we're going right now. So I'm on, currently I'm on rank four, but I'm, you know, I wanted to do the final step of Don Doko where I'm reaching rank five on stream. So we're just going to quickly do that. It should not take that long. So we're going to go. I do like the vibe of the main menu theme. Yeah. It's really badass. I love it so much. Okay, due to the washbuckler's attack, the other guests were escorted to safety. Wait, what? Wait, what? I- there's nobody on the- What's happening? Wait, what? I just wanted to go rank five. I've, okay, pests active. I've never had a pest on my on my island before. What the fuck is happening? Whoa, those are chonky fish. Wait, they're pests. Hello? Oh, there's a bunch of. Oh god. Ba ba strength and battle, the Suji. Yeah, battle. I've never had pests. Let's give it everything we I got the introduction for pests on the island, and then they haven't come back since. So this is actually my first uh, interaction. They're so weak. Oh, oops. I did the wrong Sujimon. Oh, Jesus. That boar fucking died. Oh, jeez. I'm so slow. I am so slow. Just kill them all. All right. Nah, I could do coconut chop. You know what? Why not? Let's do coconut chop. Let's do this. We leave the island for five minutes and chaos ensues. I know! I didn't leave my island in a bad state. I know I didn't. Oh, I'm so glad we won. <laughs> Thanks. I actually haven't touched my Sujimon since like two days ago on stream, since we did the queen battle. I, I haven't touched it since. So I really need to train more Sujimon, honestly. All right, get me out of here. I want to finish, so we're getting rank five right now. I just needed to take care of the pests. Um, I, I, okay, this way. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I'm gonna save my game before we go on the ship. Just in case something really bad happens. Oh, I should probably... I have healing items. They kind of warned me that it would be a big battle and you should take some healing items. Otherwise, you're probably gonna die. I think... Oh, yeah. The Hell Stew. I have Hell Stew. 
I could probably get more. Um, I'm, I'm a gamer. It's not gonna be that hard, right? Do I really, do I really need to get health items? No, you know what? I don't. We're fine. Examine. All right, it's finally time to face off and get rank five. Prepare for battle. Belial. <laughs> oh. All right, I didn't expect you to come and personally welcome us to the, your little island. How hospitable. I see why you'd be deserving of five stars. Appreciate the compliment, but I'm not here as the welcoming party. I'm here to tell you to get the hell off of our island. No way you'll bring this place down ever again. In that case, I'll have to protect this island with everything I got. <laughs> All right, let's end this. Oi. We are the Let's do it! I feel alive! Out of the motherfucking way! Knock it off! Go and get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Hey, stop! Knock it off! Get lost, will you? Get ready! Your leader is dead. They, they really talked up this battle like it was going to be a lot harder, and, and this is this is it. Oh. You all right, Kasuga-san, are you? Are you hurt? I, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. And I'm protected our island, just as promised. Wilder than wild! The washbucklers are disbanding as of today, and you'll stop illegally dumping your waste here. You thought I'd keep my word? We made a deal! And what of it? I'm no honorable warrior or samurai. I'm a washbuckler, a pirate, mind you. We scoundrels are filthy rats and liars alike. Oh, oh no! Sayachan! If you so much breathe wrong, I might sl slip up and slice her, you know. The power of friendship brings a tear to my eye. No, seriously, you really shouldn't. I'm warning you for your own sake. Uh. Hey, you. What? You picked the wrong hostage. I had no clue Sayachan was that strong. When Saya gets angry, your life's over. So try not to piss her off in the future, Kasuka-san. Right, noted. <laughs> I was so scared, but I'm glad I could lay the hurt on him. Yeah, excellent yeah. work. We meet all the requirements to become a five-star resort. Let's call the resort review board. Time to do it. Let's see how much money I get for being five stars, though. That's all I care about is the money. Not the people. Oh, the dolphin. The mad dog of Dodo, Do Don Doko Island. We are a five star resort. I did it. I beat the mini game of the century. Oh my god, it Costumes. happened. Thank you, especially Kasuga san. On everyone's behalf, I would like to offer you my sincerest thanks. Here's the promised reward. Please take this. One million doko box. 
It is my greatest wish that Dondoko Island flourishes for many years to come. Well then, I will not keep you any longer until we meet again, but my money. I'd like to thank you as well for everything you've done for us. Thanks to you, we were able to crawl back up and lift our resort up from rock bottom. <laughs> no need to get all informal on me. Besides, I couldn't have done it without everyone teaching everything and helping me out too. This was something we could only accomplish together. We all should be proud of ourselves. <laughs> shut up, Geezer! Shut up, Geezer! How about you shut up for once? It's about time for me to go. This might be a long shot, but I still have to ask. Is there no way that you could stay with us here, Kasuga-san? This place is both so important and comforting to me, but, but I've already got a place where I belong, and some real awesome friends waiting for me, and things I've got to do. <sighs> These things you have to do, I mean, they're pretty dangerous. There are other battles you have to fight, aren't there? Um... Please take this hmm? with you. We wanted to help you fight in some way, so we've been developing this in secret. It's a pretty powerful weapon, if you ask me. Feel free to use it whenever you're in a bind. Remember, wherever, whenever, will always be right at your side, totally. Kasuga-san. Did he just say weapon? You learned Essence of Dondoko Beam? Whoa! Ah. I'm interested to see what that move's like. Yes. Thanks for the good times, Dondoko Island. The going got rough every now and then, but it was really fun resort experience in the end. Just keep your heads up. I know yes. you'll prosper. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Here's to a long and bright future. All together now, everybody. Dondoko a go go. 300,000 dollars! Holy shit! I am rich! I completed the Dondoko Island story. It's done! It's done! We did it! I don't know what to say. I did it! I can leave this cursed island. I am so rich now. I have so much money. I literally have all the money I could ever want in life Girl, now. Strong, all right? It's Dondoko over. Oh, I got my five-star resort. You now have more costumes to choose from. Wait, I have more costumes? Really? Wait, that's cool. I want to go check out costumes. So this is the sub store I was talking about that just like showed up out of nowhere. So we can quickly go do that. It's the only thing on my map, but I promise I'm going to do plot. That's it, though. That That's it. There's just literally one thing. But I got to check out the drip first. That's 60k more songs at karaoke. Holy shit. Okay, I think I have all the jobs, though. I can give a present. Alright, I'm gonna gift her a present. Sup? What? Our bond got stronger. Can I give her anything else? Hey. We've been making good hmm. money! My stress levels have been rising at max- Wait, but since we're getting a lot of clients, my stress levels have been rising at max speed. A smoke break would be fantastic at times like this, and well-deserved, too. Personally, I like to smoke a variety of brands, but it's not payday yet, and I'm a bit strapped for cash. Wait, oh, the bartender needs assorted cigarettes, too. And I never found them. And I've been going to, like, every shop, too. God damn it. What up? I need to take photos. Okay, so I have Today's more... Fit? Costumes? Oh my god, I have so many jobs that I haven't even touched yet. Desperado seems hilarious. Oh yeah, this is cool. Wait, special outfit casino tie. Why is his bow tie unbow tied? Mm 
matches my personality. Oh yeah, this is cool. Always so hard to choose. What am I feeling? Maybe it's time I change styles. You still have the same. How are you meant to choose? I need a makeover. I need a makeover, same. Yeah, nothing works for me. Such an Ichiban thing. <laughs> Dynasty! <laughs> I love that series of emotes way too much. Why did you pin it? Because it's beautiful, that's why. Should I change jobs? I guess I could- No, wait, this is a bad idea to change jobs right before a big battle. No, we should not do that. Man, I need assorted cigarettes. I'll find them off stream somewhere. It's just, man, I never found them. I feel like I've gone everywhere. Damn. All right, we're not far from the sub story, so here we go. <laughs> I love that command. Oh. When you want the Sujimon spot, but these guys are guarding it. Okay. All right, sub story. You're right here. Right here. It's oh. the truth. I saw a UFO. Huh? A UFO? A UFO. Close encounters of the bird kind. Understood. It couldn't have been anything else. A seagull maybe, or some kind of drone with a lighting rig. You think a drone could carry a full-grown chicken off? Don't patronize me! I saw it! A bona fide cattle mutilation! Cattle what? Please, stick to the facts and not what you've seen in movies. Hello, hello? What's up over here? Oh, it's Karen. You in trouble with the law or something, girl? I didn't do anything! Last night, a UFO came by my window and beamed up my chicken! For a moment, I thought the police might actually help me. Wait, wait, a UFO? No kidding? But cattle mutilation happens to livestock. Isn't what you're describing more like a abduction? If you want to pull sci-fi hoax, do your research. So I got the terms confused. It's not a hoax, it really happened. Doesn't anyone believe me? Officer, please. My little chicken Becky is out there somewhere. A UFO took her and you have to get her back. Um... As far as your chicken goes, ma'am, I suggest you file a report at the station, all right? But the UFO is, how do I put this, out of my jurisdiction. This can't be happening. None of you believe a word I'm saying? Fine, then. I'll take care of this myself. Is she okay, you think? No, she's not. Taking off like that? There's no way it's true, right? This UFO thing? Maybe she saw something in her sleep? Chicken could have just flew the coop, too. Yeah, has to be that. She's Lolo. Just crying wolf. Um. A chicken abducting UFO. This is a sub story. Okay. Let's get I guess I'm on the trail. For a chicken, chicken of duck. Oh, this hey, there's it. a photo here. That came out well. Cool. A chicken abducting UFO. Yeah, this sub story makes perfect sense. Maybe I should talk to her. Time to get involved. Sup? Hey there, got what? a minute? What do you want? I ever heard what you were telling the police officer before uh, about seeing a UFO. And now you're here to make fun of me too? Poor Karen, the crazy sci-fi nerd. 
That's not what I was gonna say. Uh, I'll admit I wouldn't normally take someone talking about aliens seriously, but you sounded so certain. Guess I can't help but be curious myself. I swear it's true. I saw it all happen. A giant UFO appeared in my yard and abducted my precious little chicken. Weren't there any other witnesses? If it was a giant, if it was giant, somebody else should have seen it. I don't think so. My house is pretty remote. There's never anyone around the area at night. And the UFO only lit up briefly. Right as I was getting ready for bed, I heard frightening clucking from the yard and suddenly everything was bright. Looking at the lights, I saw a flying saucer spinning in the air. It was shocking. Before I knew it, there was a loud noise and my chicken started floating in the sky as she was beamed aboard. Then what happened? The lights went out and it soared away. I did end up getting a picture of it. What? Hmm? Wow. Why didn't you show that? They'd have to believe you then. Okay. Just please don't laugh. Why'd you take a selfie with it? Just take a picture of the damn thing! Why do you gotta take a Our day and age is so fucked. You have to understand, I was so shaken up, I reflexively took a selfie. Art, no. No. Our civilization is totally fucked nowadays. But I had to make content out of it, you don't understand. If I didn't make content out of it, if I didn't take a selfie with it, nobody would believe me. I just had to be there with it, you know? Huh? What does that even mean? Who takes a reflexive selfie? This is such a blown opportunity. It almost makes me mad look to look at it. You see, that's why I didn't want you to show them. Uh, but you can still see the UFO there, can't you? <sighs> I guess, technically. It's fine if you don't believe me. I know I'm on my own here. What are you planning to do by yourself? When I checked where the UFO flew off to, I found strange markings on the ground. Crop circles, they're called. If I stake out that clearing all night long, I know I'll encounter it again. I'm going to get my chicken back. Thing is, there's also a ranch near close by. There are all sorts of animals there. I don't want any of them get to get cattle mutilated. If I stay there, maybe I can protect them. I have no idea if it's really a UFO or not, but she definitely believes that she saw something. And she's right. There's something in the picture, too. What kind of man would I be to let a woman put herself in danger, facing down the unknown, without any help? Sup? Let me join you, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not just gonna let a girl stay out all night in a field on her own. Besides, you got me too damn curious. Leave it to me. Always wanted to see a UFO. Maybe you're the real sci-fi <laughs> nerd. Karen, it's a pleasure, Mr. It's a pleasure, Mr. Kasuga. So why don't you come back a little later? We'll meet up for okay. the night. If the UFO does show up, what's the plan actually? I'm going to gather up every weapon I can find, focus fire, and bring it down. I'm grateful you'll be there too, Kasuga. You can help me widen our range of attack. That's not the answer I expected. We're in America. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go okay. get ready. Okay. This should be interesting. Meet Karen at night. Well, it is nighttime right now. And it's not on my map. Okay. Well, I guess the plot is this way. I, uh... A part of me is trying to remember the, like, Yakuza 7 sub-stories because I... I thought I remember a UFO being in one of those, but I can't remember it for the life of me. It's bothering me. I can't remember all the sub-stories in every game, but I try. 
But, like, the UFO rings a bell. Like, I've seen it before in a sub-story somewhere. Okay. I'll... I want my brain to think of it, so I, I will... Oh, jeez, that's a, that's a truck. Okay, uh, I need to go to plot. Okay, this way. But, yeah. It's like I, I vaguely remember a UFO sub story. Kitty! I still have yet to do a Sujimon raid, by the way. I still haven't done one. I have to do that. Alright, crossing the street, not gonna get hit. Uh, remember the kimchi? I remember the kimchi one, yeah. How's the matter? I do. There's like that annoying little area of fog of war in the river. God, it's so annoying. <laughs> Get out of my way, punk. How's the matter? Uh. It'll come to me later. Oh yeah, I need to be looking. I just want to make sure... Like, I don't like missing photo spots and stuff. So I'm making sure that I, like, roam every wall. Oh, hey, look, a friend! This is why we walk. Um, yeah, I roam all the walls to see if there's, like, a camera that pops up. I need to be thorough. I need to 100% this game. You guys do not understand how bad I need to, like, 100% this game. Need to slow down this game is going to be my bitch. Oh my god, look at that giant shoe, though. Alright, it looks like we're actually doing plot. AEG's waiting for us. Wait, there's a friend. Okay. Plot. Probably finishing up chapter 6 right now. Let's do it. Excuse me. We're all set. Yeah. Let's do it. Sure. No, I'm not a trophy hunter. I don't give a shit about trophies. I just Hold like that. doing everything right. I can in video games. That's mm -hmm. it. Oh, he's back. First the Ganja, and now it's Yamai. Mm. Best to assume they found our hideout. Kasuga-san, behind you! <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I come from Kamurocho. Some would call it the armpit of Tokyo, Japan. Oh no, not Born the video. from the sons of an inner city soap land, the name Zichiban Kasuga. Some have even called me the hero of Yokohama. Separated from my mother at birth, I am now on a quest to find her. Hawaii is treating you well, I see. <laughs> but what does that matter? I'm here for this one. Oh. It's a great honor to meet you, Kazuma Kiryu-san. Kiryu? Never heard of him. <laughs> and he's a terrible liar, just as they say. My thanks. Now I don't have any doubt. This motherfucker. <laughs> you are the real Kazuma Kiryu, all right. I swear to you fucking know, I'll God. Agree with you. He is a bad liar. <laughs> and here I thought I'd gotten better. I knew Since when? Since when did you I get better? Knew it. And to think I'd run into you here of all places. The head of Kazuma Kiryu. 
What better trophy than the head of a dragon? <laughs> you sound like an ancient barbarian. And their age is dead. Gone. As far as death goes, it could be our turn any minute. <sighs> well said. It's coming for you. Ichiban right didn't like I'm that. Say, I'm just here. Try huge. not to disappoint me. Kazuma Kiryu! Oh, damn, he wants me. That's uh, awesome. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just here. Raise your horn! Thank you so much for gifting four subs to the community. That is very kind of you. I super appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Follow my lead. Sure, I'll play with you. Huh? It's over. <laughs> They're all bleeding. Yeah. Suck it, bitch. Something well, I'm waiting. Dude, those guys are a little bit far. I don't know how much. Yeah, they think they're too far. Is fucking dead early. Okay, I'm up. Hahaha, <laughs> Bon. I won't hold back. Ever be. Together, right? uh, Yamai is kind of hot, yet. Yeah. I think the voice is a lot of it, too. Damn it, Yamai. Crazy bastard only wants Kiryu. He is really gunning straight after Kiryu. I've seen many. You're in it now. Only eyes for Kiryu. Follow my lead. That is almost adorable. Let's do this. You'll never take Kiryu alive. Is that really it? Okay, Don't maybe you will. Now, eh, Kiryu? Kiryu's fine. Oh, come on. See, we look. No he's, he's fine. Ready when you are. Recovery over up. time. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> 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 Wait, I've never seen that animation. Cool. Okay, okay, we're just going to guard because clearly he wants Kiryu's ass. I could replicate that dance. There's a lot in this game I have to replicate. It's gonna take a lot of time. Oh, oh that's so embarrassing! I'll follow your lead. 
That is so embarrassing, Chitose. There's no way to fight. Like she landed straight on her tailbone, it looked like too. Which really sucks. Y'all, I am so rich. I literally have four hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars. Holy fuckeroni! It feels good to have money. Well, I'll be. You really are a dragon. You really are a dragon. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. That was fun. But I think I expected too much. Tell me, are you really Kazuma Kiri? No. Are you really the dragon of Dojima? Seems that you've lost your bite. Oh, come or on. Maybe just that your legends outgrow. An old man's got to get old sometimes, well, you know? Your answer. Hey, all I know that you can't lie to save your life. Hey, Yamai, don't you ever lay a hand on Tomisawa again. He's with me now. Why are you bringing Tomi into this back. conversation? Wait, this just seemed huh? really weird to bring up. Who's he? What? I tend to forget about things that don't interest me. You hear that? I just hope you're the real deal. Bro's like kind of dying. Anybody, God, give him a break. All this talk is boring me. Can't wait for the next one. Maybe then the beast will bear its fangs. Now, take care. Dude's gonna get hit by a car. I just want him to get hit by a car right now. That'd be so funny. He's letting us go. That's it? Damn it. Yeah, I guess. Yamai's only got eyes for Kiryu saw now, apparently. Hey, so, uh, you think we'll be okay going back to Kiryu-san's room? No, we should probably try a change of scenery. So get a new hotel? No. Remember, we're dealing with the Barracudas and Gancha now. They'll both be looking for us. Hawaii's small, too. The hotel won't guarantee our safety, no matter where it is. Dondoku Island? Then where are we supposed to go? Dondoku Island! The Daidoji faction has a safe house here. Oh. It's for emergencies just like this. Are you sure about this? You don't have to take us there. It's fine. They're always trying to keep everything secret. Time they learn they can't. If it were really that special, they wouldn't have told me. Let's go. I feel bad. You've come through for us again and again. <laughs> you can repay me later. Now, come on. So this is the safe house? Yeah. There should be plenty of space. Even with all of us, we'll likely fit just fine. I guess this apartment was the only thing they built, huh? It looks like it, at least. A number of the faction's people will be inside. They're not the nicest guys around, but I trust them. Got it. Man. Also, oh my god, I missed member. Yo, Kuze, thank you for becoming a member on YouTube. That's terrifying. Oh, this is more terrifying. Wait. Anawa? So this must be Ichiban Kasuga. Who's to say? Hard to give a straight answer to one gun, let alone three. What's going on? Fine. Have it your way. It's not like we've got manpower out here. We're basically helpless. As it stands, we can't do much without his cooperation. I really hate Hanawa's voice. I know I said that before. I really don't like it. I'll say this now so you don't get your hopes up. This is all the faction can muster right now. Huh? It's just you guys? That's, what, four people? It's for the sake of the mission. We want this done without any attention to the U.S. government. Oh my God, sorry. Can Kuze donating $20? Kuze? 
If you're really Kuze, you have more money than that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kiri, what have you done to your hair? I thought you had better taste. Bruh. Kuze really coming back from the grave to rip on Kiryu's hair. So mean. <laughs> Thank you, Kuze. I appreciate it. Stationed here in Hawaii for some time. Only myself and Kiryu-san are here from Japan. This is my boss, Hanawa. No clue if that name's real, though. It's definitely not. How intelligent. Not only do you drag outsiders into the mission... Hanawa is not his real name. give them my name. Why am I not surprised? They're all oh, I wonder if he's going to be plot relevant. trying to think but like uh, I'm just trying to think cuz in uh, Gaiden like Hanawa is definitely your bro but at the same time I don't know if like that'd be that'd be crazy if like you play this whole game and Hanawa is just there to um I have to remember past Yakuza plot holy shit Give me a sec. So, like, uh, remember, this is rhetorical chat, so please don't correct me if I'm wrong. Don't say anything. Don't give me information. It's just be, be quiet. Um, uh, okay, so I just need to talk out my thoughts, though. Um, so, Hanuma and Gaiden, he's still, like, he's still following orders, technically. We know that Hanuma is not Hanuma. I also thought it was weird that at the end of Gaiden he knew Taichi Suzuki, which kind of limits the pool of people that knew about that. Um, and I'm trying to think about that because I don't know. The thing is, like, I, I feel like I have to think in terms of, like, I have to remember or I have to think about who Hanawa is uh, for this plot. Let me write that down. To be honest, I didn't think Hanwha was going to be too relevant in this game. I thought that he was just going to be relevant in Gaiden, and then I thought, come this game, like, Hanwha is obviously still going to be needing to be involved um, because of Kiryu, but um, now I feel like I should really think in terms of um, who he is and his relevance to the plot of Yakuza 8. So, he knew of Taichi Suzuki. That was... That was five? Yakuza five? Or six? I lost count. Yakuza five, I think. And Yakuza five is one of the ones that I remember the least, I think. Wait. Mm, my brain. My brain is... Oh my god, I cannot remember these fucking games, dude. Uh, I feel like I need to rewatch my own playthrough. Because I think it's five that you have uh, Taichi Suzuki. I'm just wondering if this is at all relevant to this game. Because I want to trust Hanawa. I want to trust him, especially after playing Gaiden. I want to trust Hanawa. But I don't feel like I can. And I, I hate that. Because I feel like that kind of destroys Gaiden a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just... I want to trust Hanawa so bad. But, especially, he stuck it out for Kiryu so much. Even showing him the video of the kids, which he wasn't supposed to do. There, he still cares, but it's so weird because I don't remember... I think it's Yakuza 5. I don't remember 5 enough. Um, he would have to be a character from Yakuza 5. I don't think there's any other explanation. But it could be a whole new character, but I doubt that. This is Yakuza fashion, so it's probably a character that we know of from Yakuza 5. Somebody who didn't die. Um, I'm just going to put in my notes, like, I want to keep thinking about the fact of who is Hanawa. Because he, he really is not Hanawa. He was somebody else. Because uh, that's what the end of Gaiden basically told us. Um... I'll th I'll keep thinking about that. But yeah, for the for the time being, let's let's keep going. For success. Besides, we're the closest to getting to Akane-san, aren't we? 
Though it pains me to acknowledge it, yes, that is the case. This is Ichiban Kasuga, and there... Tomizawa-san and Chitose-san, right? Ah, I just met Kiryu-san earlier. I'm Eiji Mitamura. Greetings. The Daidoji faction offers you sanctuary. However, we ask one thing in return. Please tell us everything you know about Akane-san. We too wish to find her and keep her safe. As it stands, we share a common goal. You're letting us use this place. We'll help out however we can. Kasuga-san, I must say, I enjoyed that video of yours. <laughs> hey, thanks. Regrettably, its success carries a high price. You've now advertised yourself to threats all over Hawaii. Furthermore, you're no closer to Akane-san than before. All you really did was multiply the enemies you stood to gain. Perhaps even tenfold. Yeesh, that's harsh. I mean... Kazuga, it's probably about time you told him, huh? Why? Told us? What do you mean? Kazuga, when we first talked about shooting the video, you asked if there were groups other than the Barracudas. Right there, I could tell you had another goal in mind. Not only that, but it seemed like you anticipated that Ganja and Yamai would show up. Huh? Is that true? <laughs> Amazing, Kiryu-san. Of course you'd figure me out. The goal of that I video, had assumed Chitose like did that, not was Ichiban. ...was to have san come find us. That would have been our best-case scenario. But apart from that, I was hoping for something else. Mm -hmm. If that video did its job, then we'd see everyone who's involved in this mess. Hey, uh, huh? What do you mean? A guy named Ichiban Kasuga plops down in Hawaii. He's looking for his long-lost mother. That info might have drawn attention. And if anyone was going to come after us because of it, well, they'd probably be pretty clued in on everything. Kuze, thank you for the $10 donation. Kuze says, most of my wealth and assets got seized after I got sent to the slammer. Are you that surprised? Yeah, I'm surprised. What do you mean? Someone as fantastic as Kuze would not be having their wealth and assets get seized after getting sent to the slammer, buddy. I don't believe you. I don't believe you for a second. But thank you, Kuze. Very cool. Thank you for the $10. <laughs> Okay, but like, uh, going back to this, I find it very hard to believe that Ichiban pulled like a five head move. I'm sorry, I love Ichiban, but he's like, he can't pull a move that smart. I, I don't, <laughs> I thought it was Chitose that did it on purpose. Right? That's true. Ichiban made it very clear who his mother was. Anyone interested would have For to him to do like a five head move like that? I don't know. Care otherwise. Exactly. What's more, they would know I exist. They would have I love him. She's got a son. I love him so and much, but... If you didn't but... know all that, you wouldn't bother hunting me down. Hmm. Now, as to where we stand with everyone. The Barracudas, most likely due to Tomi's threats, are out of the picture. Yamai jumped us after seeing the video, but he's now completely zeroed in on Kiryu-san. He didn't say one word about Akane-san. That's true. Hard to imagine that was an act. Right. That means there's only one group at play here. Only one had all the pieces. That's the Ganja. No mistake in it. They know things. Things about Akane-san that even we don't. Huh. Ah, that's right. This has been bugging me this whole time. Looking back on it, didn't the Ganja guys know Ichiban was Akane's son? We're looking for this woman. With luck, we'll put some heat on her son, and she'll come crawling out. Oh, whoa. Yeah, they must have. Right. Hanawa-san, it's true the best result would have been getting Akane's attention, and that was the plan. But regardless, we still managed to get a new lead. That's gotta be good for something, right? I see. Yes, well, I suppose things did work out once all was said and done. However... I ask that you refrain from pulling a stunt like that again. <laughs> I'll be more careful from now on. <laughs> well, that's a relief. 
But man, you should have told us. We're a team, all right? <laughs> Jay, We're a team that doesn't trust Chitose. It didn't work. You only fill people in if you pull it off. Hey, no fair. <laughs> now, just where are the Ganja getting their info? Uh, that's the question. Captain Sawashiro's been in Ijincho the whole time, and I've only told the people here about it. On that note, it's possible there was a leak from somewhere or someone close to Okane-san. Whatever the case, asking the Ganja ought to clear things up. If we figure out who their source is, well, we'll be one step closer to finding her. Good plan. If you ask me, I say we nab one of their boys and make them spit it out. Right. Only thing is, we need at least an officer. It won't do us much good if they're kept out of the loop. Um, they're not an officer, but I know of someone with pretty close ties to the Ganja. What? The owner of the Nirvana Hotel. He's a local celebrity. Nirvana what? Hotel? Yes. Rumor has it. He's actually the head of the Ganja himself. At least, that's what made its way around the dark web. Just a moment. I'll find a picture. This is him. Wong To. Wrong To? Wong to seems to be a highly valued individual when it comes to the wealthy hiding their assets Wrong to? On top of that, the Ganja rapidly expanded right around the time he opened the Nirvana Hotel. Wong To is, in all likelihood, an officer within their ranks. Wrong To, Maybe right To? <laughs> then does that mean the Nirvana Hotel's our next stop? <laughs> that would be reckless. As it's been said, the Nirvana Hotel is the Ganja's prime base of operations on the island. They've no doubt got it under lock and key. And Wong To is much sharper than Dwight. So Wrong To is sharper than Dwight? Is that it? All right. But with every second, Hawaii's gangs inch closer to finding Akane-san before us. Hanawa-san, there's got to be something, right? Is there any way we can get close to Wong To? Well, there's no guarantee it will work. But there is one thing you might try. Uh, so you do know a way. Why didn't you say so from the beginning? I'll tell you why. Because it's wholly and highly unrealistic. Uh. However, seeing as it's all you've got, I'll fill you in. Supposedly, deep within the Nirvana Hotel is a secret casino set up exclusively for Hawaii's elite. Furthermore, Wong To is said to personally serve the guests there. So if we can get in as guests, we can get in touch with Wong To? We have our finish line. Now how do we cross it? The Nirvana Hotel is not the only casino in town. In fact, they say the Ganja have established similar casinos all over Honolulu. If you can prove you've got the cash at one of those, there's a good chance the Nirvana Hotel will open its doors. <laughs> They're not so stupid as to let go of an easy mark like that. So if we want to meet the Major League coach, we first got to prove ourselves in the minors. Is that right? Sheesh, you sure set the bar high. So these minor league casinos, where exactly are they? That's just it. We don't know. What? The local police have been stumped by it, too. They're sure the casinos are out there, but they can't seem to find any hard evidence. Wait, really? Why? Who knows, man? But at least one thing's clear. The first task on our list, find one of these phantom casinos. Yeah, seems like it. Right. Hey, John, what about you? Actually... Is it all right if I stay here? I'll be of more use to Kasuga-san and the others that way, I think. Sure. I don't mind. All right. Just call me if anything happens. Sup? Just how do we go about finding one of these casinos? That's a good question. Tommy. I'm as lost as you guys. Wait. If I knew where to go, I'd be there already. Still, there's got to be somewhere in this city. One of your friends is bound to have heard a rumor or two, right? Ah. Eh, let me think. You've got this, Tommy. 
You, or what? You don't know your oh. own backyard? Hey, lay off, all right? Why don't we just try the sushi place on Sakura Street? I hear the head chef's been known to play a hand here and there. Plus, I guess whenever tourists feeling lucky, they'll point him in the right direction. <laughs> if my hunch is correct, he's definitely kept an open ear. Tommy. My man, Tommy. He knew you'd come through. All right, sushi. I thought I was going in like a big series of battles and turns out I'm not actually. Oh, Karen Bird thing showed up. Yes. I know the plot is like actually really close to me, but I have to. <laughs> they gotta do the Karen Bird. I don't. I don't know, man. Like I gotta. She's just right there. You ask if you're a beaten? No! Bring it on. Full power! I'm glad you decided to come. Are you ready to go to the clearing? Yep, let's go. <laughs> Don't worry, after this, there's nothing else to do though, so I have to do the plot. This is the spot? It's kind of dark out, but I see the tracks. Do you really think that these are crop circles? Mr. Koska, this way! We'll be spotted if we stand in the open. You really think it'll show? It has to. I mean, how else am I gonna get my chicken okay. back? What? Still nothing. Yeah. You think maybe it's not coming? It's too early to give up. Stop mooing, Mr. Hmm? Kasuga. Oh no, is it like the Soji Maru? Is there now a flying Roomba? Oh no way. Huh? What if that's what this plot is? Sorry, don't mind if I do take a screenshot of this. I have to. That's like way too good. What's a cow doing here? Remember the ranch? It's gonna get cattle mutilated! Give me back my chicken, you stinking UFO! Yeah, and the cow too! You said you were gonna get weapons, right? Where are yes. they? They're all over there! Use anything you want! The rocket launcher? One of these seems like it's in a way different league, but I can't worry about that now. What should I use? Go big or go home, I guess. I'll blast you straight back into the wormhole you rode on. <laughs> you rode in on you, UFO. Did I miss? Oh, I hit it. Dude, I'm convinced it's Soji Maru. The professor ended up making a flying one. Hmm? Huh? 
don't tell me, you and the aliens were in cahoots this whole time? No, 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 I, I don't know any aliens. And if I were on their side, would I just have shot them with a rocket launcher? Oh, no. No, the music is gonna start playing. Miserable experience. Ah, but nighttime air is refreshing. An old man? Is this some kind of interstellar nursing home? What the fuck? Man. That's Professor Okita? Mm. Oh, Lord Shrub, is that you? Fancy running into each other out here. <sighs> Mr. Kasuga, do you know this alien geriatric? Uh, well, sort of. He's no alien. And if he's here, then that means... That means this damn thing is Soji Maru! Bruh. Oh, close. She's not quite the Soji Maru you know. Her name is. Soji Maru Flying Beta Max! Soji Maru Flying Beta Max? Oh, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Soji Maru's final evolution! The great vacuum cleaner <laughs> Bro, I'm so Obvious. done with this game. Till now, no matter her capabilities, Sojimaru was always confined to sucking up trash on cold, unfeeling land. However, the Sojimaru Flying Betamax is at last free! No more is she shackled to the oh Earth. Oh my god. Was that really the issue, Doc? Questions like that are the bane of all great visionaries. Oh my god, Think please. Portra. Imagine the possibilities. Soaring majestically through the air, sucking up trash from above. Free from her terrestrial shackles, Sojimaru can cross the sea. This has gone way too and far. Suck up trash from every nation on Earth. You see the potential, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. And from such a high vantage point, spotting trash will be easier than ever for her. Picture her flying through the air. Above the seas, sucking up trash. With an army of Sojimaru, we could clean the planet itself. Yeah. It all starts right here with the. It has the vacuum. potential. Sojimaru it does. Beta Max. Mm, there's a lot of. I wonder. There, I feel like I'm doing this sub story too early though, because. Feeling, though. Um, if we're gonna have to battle Sojimaru again and it's stronger chicken, this time, I have a feeling that I'm very outmatched. <laughs> hmm? Chicken? Right. This woman's pet chicken got abducted by your vacuum. You think you can get it back to her? Yeah, give back the oh, chicken. Now that you mention it, there was a chicken in there with me that I couldn't explain. Odd, though. According to her latest programming, she shouldn't be sucking up any living beings. Much less chicken. Wait, was the chicken dead? Really this time? What if the I chicken was dead? Sure. He said you living think things. My Sojimaru can't tell trash from non trash? That's no vacuum cleaner. That's a lethal weapon. You'll see. I'll just press this button and give you a demonstration right now. Sojimaru, clean up the trash. Not the music. <laughs> Trash. Trash detected. Cleaning mode activated. Huh? Ah! <sighs> Figures. Lord Shrub, help me! Sojimaru's gone crazy! She must think I'm trash! It can't be. Was she listening when I drank myself depressed last night and started crying that the whole world is garbage? You have got to be more careful about passing down these kinds of issues, Doc. Oh, whatever, just help me! 
Oh, and to give her more durability, I read Depression the strikes the again, floor. guys. Oh, man. Now. FYI. Why does a vacuum need special armor? M M Mr. Kostika! Get behind me, Karen. I'll take this thing down and save your chicken and the professor. Oh, thank you. Oh, boy. Look out! You got Sojimaru's attention, Lord Shrub! She's coming after you! How do I attack a flying enemy? Damn it! Bring it on, then! I believe the sky itself sparks the flame. Oh, the music is like remix! Normally, she would be able to inhale everything in her pack. Her tank must be over capacity. That's vital information. Battery charger. Well, getting spat out like that. It doesn't feel like I did well. There's a battery I charger. I this dog. Jeez. Come on. Okay. I can't believe they remixed this song. I won't hold that. Okay, this is un uh, this is actually a bob now. Can I throw money at the problem? Essence of Don Doko Beam. called like something laser like oh an orbital la or orbital laser i think it was <laughs> power by <Mahiyosh. laughs> wait that didn't do nearly as much damage as i thought it was going to Weak to gun? I cannot believe I like this remix, though. I need MP because that took all of it. Do I have any that give like exactly 100 MP? I feel like I should. Do I really not? Oh, that sucks. What? Wop, 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 wop. Oh, I have. Oh, I do. Never mind. Thanks, yo. Core depleted. Oh, we have to we have to kill the charger. Five hundred. Follow my lead. So it resists. No. Oh no! What do I do? I don't do any damage. I gotta do something. Okay, maybe. Wait, throw a baseball at the problem. That solves all everything, right? Volleyball. How about that? The Yakuza series is a serious game about the conflicts and political power struggles of organized crime. That's right. That's exactly what Yakuza series is about. I'm glad that you realized that. Thank you for the 200 bits. Don Doko a go go! I killed the charger. Kiryu! Let's go, let's go. Got 
Sojimaru with the wub 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 wubs. Um, Sojimaru is getting too close. Hello! Back off. I can't have Kiryu dying. Um, you know what? This is a- okay. This is a call for the big recovery items. 400 HP to everybody, that's a bit much. Oh god. Party healing items. Yeah, sure. There we go. Burning Arrow is really fucking powerful. It's stupid. Okay, weak to fire. Fire breaking. Nothing personal. That means we've almost got her! Keep it up, everyone! Oh, I know it hurts, my dear. Just a little longer, and then you can rest. And then you can rest? Bro, you are so fucked up. Much better. Ready, not left me. Burning arrow. Here I come. This ah. this skill is so strong. Six hundred fucking damn. I, I really do actually like this remix. And it's dumb. I hate that I like it. I want to, like... Okay, maybe I'll just heal the party over there. Ow. Here we go. Fucking ow. Oh, and I gotta heal everybody again, dude. Oh my god. She's going so much. Oh my god, she's so fast. She's so fast. I just gotta stay alive, dude. I gotta stay alive. We'll just do our tag team. It's not gonna kill it, but. Ooh. My health is in danger. Okay, okay. Tommy's next. Um nobody panic. We're too far spread apart for healing now. Um you know what? Just throw money at the problem. It's gonna die. Okay, Tommy. Don't miss, or else we're actually dead. Yo! Let's go, Sojimaru down. I got $7,000 for that? Okay! Healing soil, okay. Learning more every day. Who knew I had it in me? Hey! I'm even stronger now. Pine bamboo plum. Huh? Oh. We did it. It... It's down! Lord Shrub! That was incredible! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> the chicken! Becky! Oh, Becky! I'm so glad you're safe. Ooh. Holy shit! What? Oh my god! How many people were Why in there? exactly are all these old men coming out of her now? It seems that she's predisposed toward considering old men to be trash. 
I wonder why that is. Sheesh. Uh, look, ambition is one thing, Doc. Uh, but in these kinds of tech fields, you really might need some precautions. You know how, like, a really hyped up video game is super disappointing if it comes out buggy and unpolished? Same kind of thing. What are you projecting? Hurts to hear. <laughs> I suppose you're right. You've had to save me too many times. Here, please take this. <laughs> I feel like they just threw shade. <laughs> only RGG can do this with their I games, dude. Thank you so very you're much. You're the only people you that can pull it off. Got my Becky back. <laughs> I I love this game. I guess now people won't take you for some delusional sci-fi oh, nerd, Jesus huh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I sure hope not. Looks like UFOs aren't real after all. Indeed. UFOs, aliens, it's all magical. I'm fucking dead. Next time you spot I a love UFO, this game. I need everybody to play Yakuza mine. now. <laughs> Come on. Give me a break already. Oh, Jesus Christ. There is no progress without failure, my friends. I I wondering what if I'm wondering if they're specifically targeting Okay. I'm wondering if they're specifically targeting like a certain game or not. Like I would love it if they were talking about Starfield. That'd be so funny. A pound mate? Oh my god. Steam told me I have completed 40 sub stories. I don't have any problems in this game. Oh look, and we're right next to the plot. No other- oh no. I have to clear my map. Like, I, it's so hard for me to do plot if my map is not. You know what? Okay. No, 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 no. We're gonna do a little bit of plot, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna just go to the sushi bar since we're right here, and then I'll go do that sub story. I was, I'm, I'm assuming that it's Soji Maru again, because it just showed up after that one ended. So I, I think it's a safe assumption that it's related. Hey. Shinobi sushi, I love this place. Oh, hi. How's it? You're the chief here, right? That'd be me. We heard that you're the ticket to some good old-fashioned adult fun around here. Any chance you'll fill us mm -hmm. in? So word gets out, huh? You guys must be real freaks, seeing as you got the lady with you. Actually, we wanted to ask about the casinos. Ooh. That kind of fun. A th I thought, yeah? Were you gonna take us to like a fucking brothel, dude? You thought what? Forget I said anything. Anyway, casinos, sure. M mind giving me a second? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sounds like he's the go-to guy. Nice work, yeah. Tommy. Yeah, sure. Hey there, sorry to keep you. Excuse sorry me. to keep you. We're looking for a special kind of casino. You know any places run by the Ganze? Uh, it'd be one of theirs. Mm. About that, I can't exactly give you a yes or no. You see, gambling itself is illegal out here. Uh -huh. Technically, no places in Honolulu are catered to it. It's very tricky. Hey there. It's just that something's come up. He called the police on me, didn't he? He like he went in to call people. Hmm? Oy. Got your traitor right where you want him. This stupid chef. <clears throat> Come on, that'd be cruel. They just beat you too, it is all. <laughs> Dang. Last we heard, your boss wasn't interested in him anymore. <laughs> he gets bored easily. It's up to us to follow through for him. 
<sighs> you sure are popular, Tomy. Ah, shut up. Damn. Shaking my hips, shaking my hips. They were threatening me from the start. They told me I had to report you guys or else. Bullshit, man. You were probably just after the bounty they put out. No. It was a nice gamble, but you bust. I left that life behind and that's that. And speaking of, where are the Ganze running things? That's all we want. Tell us and we'll get out of your uh, hair. I normally wouldn't give this out for free. Mm. Gee, how kind. The secret here is that the casinos are always changing spots and they're usually at least two or three running at a time. I happen to know one, and that's the Black Hibiscus. You give them the password, and they, they'll take care wow. of the rest. It's starting to sound like a treasure hunt. All you gotta do is say, Fried Dumplings from the Mainland to whoever greets you. Alright, chat, remember that. The password, Fried Dumplings from the Mainland. Don't forget it, or else you're banned. What's up? So we head over to the Great Black Hibiscus and say, Fried Dumplings from the Mainland. Is that it? I'm on board. Provided this jerk's telling the truth, that is. Honest, you gotta believe me. Don't be too hard on the guy, chi -chan. I get you're mad for Tomi's sake, but it's done now. Wait, you... Hey, does someone actually care about me? <laughs> ah. Bite me, Tomi. <laughs> actually, okay, time to hit the table. Fried <laughs> dumplings from the mainland. <laughs> Alright, is it sub story time? Yeah, because it's like, right, look at this. The substory is right next to it. It was meant to be. <clears throat> you, prefer, you prefer steamed dumplings? I, I like fried dumplings. You know, the, the one that's worse for you. Yeah, that, 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 that one's the best. Uh-oh, this girl's crying. What's up? Hmm? Sup? Are you all right, miss? This drunk guy started getting aggressive with me inside the club. I just ran. I had to get away from him. Oh, God. I was so scared. Don't worry. It'll be all right. We should get you out of here. Are you hurt at yes. all? No. I, I think I'm fine. Thank you. But I'm so panicked. I'm not sure if I can move. It's probably adrenaline. Let's just... uh. Oh, she's moving just fine. Oh. I hate to ask, but do you think you could stay with me for the night? Oh. Huh? I don't want to be alone. Please watch over me just for tonight. What the hell? She can't be serious, can she? She's getting so close. Oh, boy. It just zoomed in on the boobs, too, for that. I'll stay with you. <laughs> My hero. We should get someplace better lit. I'm kind of new around here. <laughs> There's a place close by where a friend of mine works. It's nice and safe. Take me there. Okay. I'm definitely um, getting dragged, but that's okay. This is fine. <laughs> Cheers! This is gonna go great. <sighs> that's good stuff. <laughs> you certainly drink like a man. Oh, have I introduced myself yet? I'm Emma. Emmy, if you like. What about you? You're from Japan, aren't you? Yeah, my name's Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> a manly name for a manly drinker. Tonight's going to be fun. Really, though, thank you for coming to my rescue. I don't mention it. You got put into a bad situation. I'm glad you feel like drinking again already. <laughs> You're so kind, Ichiban. Hmm, if only it had been you in that club tonight, I wouldn't have run. Whoa, whoa, 
Hey, come on, that's that's not funny. I, I never do that kind of thing. You're right. Some people are just good from head to toe. Although, I'd love to see what you'd be like bad. I don't really know what to say to that. Uh, uh, are, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> don't go all shy on me now, do-gooder. <laughs> Bartender slaps that drink. <laughs> Just keep drinking. Hey, Ichiban. Can I ask what you think of me? No, <gasps> you can't. What do I think of you? I'm completely out of my element. It's not like I'm good at this stuff in the first place, and these drinks are heavy. You're a cute little kitty? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I kind of want to say it. I kind of want to. I'm gonna do it. You're a, you're a cute little kitty. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you, you perfect little kitten? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> that was so worth it. I just wanted to see how KG Tang was gonna react with those lines, and that was so top notch. Let's go. Yes. Why don't you come here and pet me, <laughs> yeah. cat? Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> You're one of the most unique men I've met. <laughs> I really this is like great. You. This round is on me. You'll love it. Let's toast to fate bringing us together. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Meow. Oh, dude, 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 not again. We didn't learn from the first time drinking with a random Ooh, girl. I'm, I'm getting pretty drunk. So sorry. He's Whoa. staring. He's staring. Oh, God. We're in. Oh, why, Ichiban, I'm going to blush. What are you doing? Uh, oh, no, I... I Jeez, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what a fascinating hunk of man you are. Don't be embarrassed. We have all night. <sighs> the alcohol is screwing with my head this bad. Is my favorite drink in the bar. Let's make this our last before we find somewhere private. Oh no, what do I do? One last drink or I'm at my limit. I Well, okay, let's be completely real. At this point, Ichiban's already fucked. What is one more drink gonna do, honestly? Like, I'm already, I'm already hitting the fan. If I just stop now, the same outcome's gonna happen. So I might as well just, like, go out. Hmm? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This is gonna be a night to forget the bad things, right? I'll be by your side. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, no! Oh. <sighs> Great drinks. So what now? Are we gonna... <laughs> Sorry, do-gooder. How much did I drink? I remember this woman. We were at the bar together. I must have really overdone it. <sighs> Why does Hawaii keep doing this to me? Hmm? Something feels lighter. She took all my stuff. Oh, wait, my money. Oh, she barely took anything. I 
I almost had $500,000 and she took like a thousand of that. <laughs> Bitch can take my money, I'm rich. <laughs> she barely put a dent in my wallet. Sup? <laughs> she barely took any of my money. <laughs> <laughs> she get you to pay and then ditch you? That's how it goes. That's a Hawaiian honey trap, pal. <clears throat> hmm? Pardon me. I think I might know the woman you're looking for. Can we talk? Okay, that's weird. I'm surprised she didn't just take all of my money. I would have cried if I just lost $500,000. If I'm right, her name is Marion. She's somewhat notorious around here. Figures that Emmy was a fake name. She lures in tourists, gets them messed up on drinks, sleeping pills if she has to. Once they're out cold, she empties their wallet. Been happening more and more. I still have a lot of money, dude. <sighs> I must have played right into her hand. Jeez, I feel like I said some really dumb hey. stuff. Do you know her? Marion? Uh, can you get us in touch? Nah. I'm afraid she and I have drifted apart. We were close, back when we were children. Practically family, we saw each other so much. Uh, over time, she grew up into someone very different. Once she took to a certain lifestyle, there was nothing anyone could do. I tried, but she wouldn't listen. And then she started sc scamming guys, or selling herself. Isn't Hawaiian law supposed to be pretty strict about that kind nah. of thing? Sure is, it's important, you know, to maintain an image of propriety for the tourist board. Hmm. Marion, though, I don't know how she kept it going all this time. She's either a criminal mastermind or someone's protecting her. Bet she can't stay this way forever. But I've been hanging around here because I heard rumors that she's using this bar for the con. Sorry, brother. Still haven't run into her, though. Sorry, if I'd have got here sooner, we might have saved your money. That's all right, my own fault. You haven't given up sure. on her yet? I still care about her. I can't help it. That little girl who used to laugh with me as a kid, it's a memory I'll always treasure. I'd give anything for her to clean herself up, though, the way that she used to. It's all I want. I understand. I'll, for I'll find her. I mean, I do need to get my money back, right? <laughs> after, after that, though, I'll make sure I put you both in contact. Maybe then she might turn over a new leaf? I never told you my name. I it's Zach. I teach at the elementary school by yeah. here. You? I'm in Hawaii on some personal business. Listen, the only other lead I have, I've got, is that Marion turns up in the back alley of Pearl Avenue some hmm. nights. Honestly, it's a pretty bad neighborhood. I'm worried about what kind of people she might be mixed up with. Back alley of Pearl. Okay, I'll sure. let you know if I see her. Take care. So, right now. Also, wait a second. Uh, I just realized I probably should have my camera in the other corner. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna do a switcheroo here. So that way you guys can see my money that I, I, I didn't lose, like, anything. <laughs> this dumbass girl didn't take, like, any of my fucking money. She really is dumb. Like, girl, you could have had, like, 500,000 bucks. What are you doing? I have infinite wealth. I'm just, like, judging her if she really, you know, if she wanted my money, she would have taken all of it. <laughs> she took some fucking money. Yeah, she did. I shouldn't be using my... I should just be using basic attacks for these guys. They don't deserve anything more. Follow my lead. We'll see. Right now, I don't have anything really to spend my money on. I really should be getting weapon upgrades, I think. That would be nice. But I also don't want to get to a point where I'm too overpowered for the plot, too. So, I don't want to... Yeah, I'd rather not spend money on, like, weapons and stuff and upgrades. Because then I just plow through enemies. Okay, I'm up. Oh, no. Chitose? Oh, 
really struggled with that. There's no way to fight. Slap that ass. Thanks for the iron chunk, I guess. I have never been to this part of town. I'll be fine. So this is all new. Oh, this is like where the end of the plot's gonna take us. The Nirvana Coast Hotel. This is definitely endgame. Millennium Tower type of shit. Oh, another friend's in danger. Wait, are you the same friend that I just saved? No, you're not the same one. I'll, you know what? I'll take care of you later. I'm in a new part of town. Legendary Sujimon outbreak? What does it mean? Hawaiian food's amazing. I'm craving tea. Does it? Tea over rice. Mm hmm. I've Lots never done a Sujimon raid before. Oh, and I told myself I'd only eat local cuisine on this trip. Chi-chan, did you go through this at all? Mm hmm. For me, Maybe I should it was do that. Soup. Damn, I completely get that. Nothing here's quite as. Soupy. There are Japanese restaurants here. I tried going to one. They had onigiri too, but all the fillings were like avocado. Oh, oh what just happened? Oh, is this the plot? That guy's standing watch. Wait, did I just accidentally run into plot and I didn't know? This ain't a spot for tourists. Move along. Rude. Doesn't he realize that there? That's only gonna make me curious. Aren't you bored out of your skull standing guard like this? I'm always up for a chat. If there's anything you want to get off your <laughs> chest, you're a funny guy. Something about you. I can tell that you've been put through the ringer more than a few times. Maybe you're all right. It's a mahjong parlor. Oh. oh. Wow. Should I... It's so tempting to go. I'm all fired up. Off stream. I have to do it off stream. Off stream. Just do it off stream. Off stream. You're strong, Crystal. You're strong. You can do this. Uh, revives a fallen ally with full HP. Sure, I have money. 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 Arigato. <clears throat> You love this game? Good. As you should. I'm glad. Hello. This game is fucking fantastic and I'm addicted. Wait, what? There's a cat here? I, d I almost missed the cat! You're a sneaky little guy, aren't you? Hi! Oh. Hi! You're such a cute little kitty. I might be a natural. <clears throat> it took me an hour to find this cat. Oh, having a rough time Welcome. finding kitties. One hundred and forty thousand dollars. Now we're talking. That's the way to spend my money. Explosive sucking cyclone. I'm so tempted to buy it. That would only be like a little bit of my money. But I also don't, I can't equip it. I don't have the job equipped. The, the spatula just looks so tempting. Yeah, it's $140,000 for a spatula. <laughs> what, you've never spent that much on a spatula before? Should I buy it? No one in your party can equip this. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why did I 
Chapter six, by the way. Hmm? Uh, there is a such thing as having too much money. Okay, there absolutely is. I've hit that limit. I don't want this much money. Even IRL, I don't want that much money. Hey. Hey, yo, remember me? I never paid you back for the drinks, Emmy. Nice to see you again, Mr. Icky Ben? Icky Ben? <sighs> no big deal, I guess. I didn't learn your name either, did I, Marion? Where'd you hear that? Long story. Pick a prick, you harassing Sophia or something? Oh, Sophia now. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Don't play dumb with me now. I got some stones hitting on my lady. You got some stones? Okay. You're dead. Okay. Icky men. I can't believe I've just been turned into an icky man. Sophia Defender. <laughs> oh, he's actually- his level's actually pretty up there. Oh shit. Get out. This will do a lot of damage. Oh, that sucks. It's time. Follow my lead. Rich person behavior. What if I just like randomly texted my mom like, hey, I bought a spatula that was $140,000. I think my mom would probably call me. <laughs> Who should I give a heart attack to in my family? Like, oh, hey guys, I bought a $140,000 spatula today. It's great. I really shouldn't do that. <laughs> My mom would probably be like, who stole Crystal's phone? Mama? What's happening? That was scary just now. Who's he? Oh, geez. It's all right, baby. Nothing to worry about. This man's a friend of mine. Right? Mama needs to have a conversation, okay? Think you could go home and wait for me like a big boy, Kyle? <clears throat> I'm not surprised this is Zack's fault. He cares about you, he's worried, and he remembers spending your childhood together. Zack doesn't know hmm? shit. He mentioned how rich he is. He was born sucking a silver tit. Meanwhile, I was just an accident for a couple of deadbeats. The only reason Zack and I played together as children is because his family moved onto the block next to mine, probably to redevelop it. I knew from the time that we met that, that yeah, we met, we were two, from two different worlds. Doubt he ever even realized that. Then, once I was older, my parents insisted I start bringing in money. The way, only way I know we could. Lucky for me, we both wound up back in prison. Of course, by then I had a kid of my own. No clue who the father is. Kyle, you mean? I've got nothing and no one to rely on, but he still has to rely on me. So yeah, whatever Zack told you I've done, I've done it. To feed my child, I'd do anything. If you came for your money, it's already spent. Don't look at me like that. You think I've got some kind of college degree I'm sitting on? I may resent the world I was born into, but I'm not not sorry for what I've had to do to survive in it. And I don't need one more do-gooder telling me to pull myself up for it and make a fresh start or damn it. Oh, she's gonna start crying. E. She's right. It's not as simple as turning a new leaf. At least in Japan, we have some safety nets like Hello Work. Some places just spit you out and expect you to sink yeah. or swim. I get how hard it sucks to be looked down on when you're just trying to make it another day, but 
This road never ends well. You can adjust- you can justify anything by saying it's for your child, but just because it's defensible doesn't mean it's hey. right. Even if you do avoid jail time, how's it gonna be before your son grows up and blames himself for what you went through? Look, I have no right to tell you what to do. I grew up in a different world too, and even at my lowest, I had people I could count on. Nothing better will ever come of that from the, all this. I don't want to raise your another raise another person like me who can't even afford to hope. I don't know what else I can do. Marry a rich guy. Glad you finally made it. It's good to see you, Marion. I didn't know about your boy. I'm so goddamn sorry, Marion. Why are you apologizing? You're not responsible for any of this. You were being marched into hell by your parents, and I was too stupid to even notice. I thought you'd just become some teenage delinquent. I thought if I could get through to you, it'd all be like it was before. I'm so ashamed of myself. I should have tried harder to understand. I could have helped you. Don't you fucking say you could have helped me! Those were my problems to endure, not yours to throw money at. My parents took my choices away from me once. You can't fix me by doing the same nah. thing. Maybe I can, but I can be here while you fix things uh -huh. yourself. Ooh, the Riz. Okay, okay. We can't change our past, but sometimes with help, we can change our futures. Even when it seems like nothing better will ever come your way. That's not gonna be easy, but if you want to do this, turn yourself in and you can save, you can still have a life. My boy, Kyle needs me. I know he does, so let me look after him until you're back. I'm a teacher, you know. Kids are my specialty. I promise I'll take care of him, and I won't let you forget, and I won't forget you for a moment. We'll move into my parents' house. My mom would love having him around, I'm sure. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good deal. It's your call, Marion. Thank you both. I never really believed anyone had this kind of compassion. Since I was old enough, it only ever seemed like for one person, uh, seemed like for one person to win, another person had to lose. I thought I could make it. If those were the rules, then I had Kyle. I don't want him to have that- to have to live that way. I keep having this nightmare where he comes to me in the dark. I see his eyes and he asks me, What have you done, Mama? He has the right to hear an answer that won't cause him pain. Ichiban, Zack, may I actually- Maybe I can actually give him one. Give me a little bit more time, alright? To sort yes, everything uh... out? That's all we can do for now. I hope Marion can make the next step. Yee. Well, that turned into, you know, the classic sub-story feel of that is Yakuza. Also, wait, you can go on my island? Hello? Come to Dondoko Island! I'm Poison Mitsuo. Hi. Well, why did that dude just run up to me? Hello? Are you okay? All right, sub-story? Is that it? Is that it? It looks like that's it. You know what we gotta do. Right. A little bit of plot. Ba da ba. Ba da 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 Oh. Blueprints. A beautiful painting. Sure. Postcard assessment. Sure. Oh, I already had that. Thanks very Rich people things. Buy everything because you can't afford it. Oh, Hello. look, friends everywhere. What up, dude? Hi! Hey. Oh, hi. Hello. What up? Hey. Yep. So many new friends around here. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait. Do I have to buy something from you? Hey, I have money! Aloha. Fancy coffee. Thank you. Okay. I just gave you a lot of money. You should be my best friend after that. That fucking sucks. Oh, you can be on my island. Hey, join me! Oh, you're that girl from the sub story! Totally. <laughs> yeah! Sub story girl! Wait, so 140 times 5. I just spent that much money on coffee. Do I make good life decisions? Probably not. So, this it? Yeah, at least it should be. Ah, damn it. Did he pull a fast one on us? Hang on. 
This does line up with a password. Fried dumplings from the main. Oh, well, Kiri remembered remember. the password. True. Anyway, why don't we go inside? I wonder if Kiryu remembers the password from all the way back in, like, the Yakuza 0 substory. How long has it been? Like, 40 years? You think he remembers? Maybe we got it wrong. It's like a regular Chinese joint. My sincerest apologies. We just took our last order. We hope you'll stop by again. I'm hungry um, oh, once again. Well, you see, we're here for some fried dumplings from the mainland. What now? You know... Fried dumplings from the mainland? It, is it too late for those? He's... <laughs> Please, take a seat at that table there. Alright. What's next? Couldn't tell you. Either way, I'm starving. Even if it's wrong, let's at least eat. Fried dumplings sound great right I now. I want fried dumplings, dude. Actually, in China, dumplings are usually steamed. They don't fry them too often. Oh, that explains. Well, the leave it to America to fry Jeez, everything. <laughs> Trust me, I know all kinds of useless information. <laughs> Kiryu you know, does know a lot of stupid shit. Orders. We call them over ourselves. Uh, excuse me. That's loud. Uh? Okay, all right, out of the way. Uh? Wait, I wanted food. Uh, guess this was the spot after all. Hidden in plain sight. And it's probably not just here either. I'll bet there's a few more around town. No wonder the police were having trouble. Whoa. Pardon the delay. Please enjoy yourselves tonight. That that was so fast. Wait, but uh, but I really wanted dumplings. Wait, can I play blackjack? I want to play. Oh, that's cheating. Dealer gets blackjack. Cheating. No. Oh, hi. We're totally going to get cleaned out. Why did we come here in the first place? We want in we want into the hotel. We need to look that we need to look the part, right? Show these guys we're going to play. It'd be easy if we were actually winning. We um, then we gotta make it so that we do win. <sighs> right, too bad luck's just not on my side today. What about Kiryu-san or Tomi? Four of us walked in, we only need one of us to hit their stride. Mm. Tomi's a no-go. In fact, I'd say luck's the least of his problems. He's frustrated <clears throat> as we are. What about Kiryu-san? Same for him. Damn it. This place has its fangs real deep in us, Ichiban. You don't have any ideas to turn it around? One thing's clear. Okay. If we want to win here, we're going to have to cheat. Not like I ex didn't expect that, given how all we had to do just to get in. <sighs> I've been keeping my eyes out for a weak spot. There's got to be something. Easier said than done, I guess. How do we do that? Leave it to Tomi, check on how Kiryu's doing, have Chitose seduce them. No, I love Kiryu. <sighs> it's worse than I thought. He's already drowning his sorrows. <laughs> Kiryu in the corner. Dame dane. Dame yo. Dame dane yo. Kiryu <sighs> Sark. Looking like we're, uh, looks like we're up a creek, eh, Kiryu-san? All this way only to get stuck at a finish. Don't blame you for wanting to knock back a few. <laughs> well, cheers. Seems like we need to get figure out a new plan. Tomi's not playing so hot either. 
I'm fresh out of chips. Got, got. I think I feel a roll coming on. Think you could spot me? If you were on a roll, you'd be asking for chips, would you? I was starting to get better at cards. I just, you know, made some mistakes at the end. Not That's quite. what they all say. Needed you all in Neither. one place. Don't worry, I found our way in. You can always count on Kiryu. Not so loud. I'm sorry. Hey. That blackjack table Kasuga and Chitose were at, check out the dealer. Don't face him, just glance over when you can. Whenever he deals, he always checks his own hand. I got a clear shot of his cards from where I was sitting earlier. Yeah. So if Kiryu-san gives us a signal, we can get a read on the dealer's uh -huh. hand. That's right, but there's a good chance that we'll get caught if I signal you directly. Damn, the ri Okay. We'll pass signals through Tomi first. I'll use hand gestures for the dealer's cards, and Tomi will relay them to Chitose. Chitose can press her finger into Kasuga's shoulder for whenever... Well, for whatever number the dealer's got. This way, Casca can know the dealer's cards without ever looking away from his own. <laughs> We're about to turn the tables on this place. <laughs> oh, shit. Want to roll? Let's keep it going. The manager stepped out onto the floor. Ah. He runs the show here. Okay. He came in from the back right after the staff called him, called for him. <laughs> it means we got what we came for. Now, let's go. Uh, it's up to Casca to handle the rest. Damn, Kiryu, that was like so fucking smooth. Welcome. Welcome one and all. Now then, if you need anything, I am the manager here. It seems you've Lady Luck on your side, however. So I don't imagine you will. <laughs> Thanks. Come to Hawaii for sightseeing, have you? Well, half business, half pleasure, that sort of thing. Oh, my, my. Say, uh, Mr. Manager, I've had a blast, but honestly, this just isn't cutting it anymore. Oh? And by that you mean... Tossing cheap chips back and forth. <laughs> We both know that's not real gambling, is it? Damn, Ichiban! Actually, I've heard some rumors about the Nirvana Hotel. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I've got the money, but... I do have the money. He's still a newcomer in the industry, you see? I don't exactly have someone to put in a good word. And kind of funny, don't you think? Yeah, a guy with my kind of money's got to wait it out to have some real fun. Hmm. Ichiba. You'll have to forgive me. As it stands, that location has a screening process that's well beyond my pedigree. So? For what it's worth, I doubt someone like me could get you in. Come on, be a pal. You're really gonna leave me hanging like that? I'm really counting on you here. Please. <sighs> I'm sorry. Here you step in. Has our luck run out then? Mr. Manager, I believe the Fujinomiya family has been in the care of the Nirvana Hotel in the past. Oh shit. Uh, and you are Ah, uh, my apologies. I'm the eldest daughter of the Fujinomiya family of Japan. My name is Chitose. She's pulling the this card. Guy here, he's with me. And so are all of them. So as long as they're with me, they're welcome at the Nirvana Hotel as well, correct? Shichan, hey, think for a second. What if your family finds out about this? Then you'll run away with me, right? Ugh. Besides, I really want to help Akane-san. Well, that, and I want to show you I can be cool too. She's... <sighs> She's always be, been Mr. cool! Manager. Run it by your higher-ups. And you'll quickly see I'm the real deal. Uh, just one moment. She thinks that she hasn't been cool this whole time, girl. You're sure about this? They'll almost definitely contact your family. 
Well, this will at least earn me a little more trust, right? <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. Shit. You just had to act all cool. <laughs> Wasn't I, though? Oh, well, I I'm still will talk shit about Chitose. I was able to check with my managers like you asked. And? My sincerest apologies for any trouble, Miss Fujinomiya. You're more than welcome at the Nirvana Hotel. Great, thanks. Heard? All right, we're one step closer to Wang Tao. Step nothing? All we've got to do now is reach out. Thanks, Chi Chan. See? I can be useful too. So, what now? We head straight there? I'm sure we'd all like to. But remember, Wang To and his men are currently after Kasuga. To have him waltz into the Nirvana Hotel himself is like... Leading a moth to a flame? You're not wrong. Kasuga, you take support on this one. Wait, support? You sure? I mean, I'll be honest, I'm no tactician or anything. We'll handle things on the inside. You be our eyes. This is no ordinary hideout, with a secret casino inside Ganja HQ. Should things take a turn, we'll want an escape route. I'll ask Hanawa to get us some equipment. You'll know what we need. <laughs> so I'm on comms. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. How is this going to work? Hmm. All right, back to the safe house. No sub stories pop up. We're safe. We can actually keep just doing the plot. This is a scary day. <laughs> so much plot in one day. How do we handle this? <clears throat> should I upgrade weapons? Is that something that I should do? Man, I don't know anymore. My gear is still shit. I have the worst maracas. I still am using a grass cutter. Tomy's the only one that has a good weapon. But you know what? This is how it should be. Hey! Hmm? I should upgrade weapons, but you know what I'm not gonna do? Upgrade weapons. You're just still here? We got the comms devices geared up, so we're head back to Hanawa-san when you're ready. Oh, God. We're gonna be doing a big Im infiltration, aren't we? Are we ready for this? Am I ready for a big plot time? I think I, think I am, though. I guess we save and go. Listen up. Per Kiryu-san's request, I've prepared you a little something. You're looking at the agency's latest civiliza civilization gear. Oh my god. Surveillance nice. gear. You really do work fast on that front. Thanks. I could say the same for you. To think you gained access to Nirvana Hotel that quickly. Now you can enter the heart of the Ganze. <laughs> we really gotta thank chi mm. for all that. <laughs> now, Kasuga-san, I understand that you'll be on the surveillance end this time. We can take you to the surveillance point near Nirvana Hotel anytime. Just let me know when Pardon? you're ready. I don't have three star plus equipment, but you know what? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fine. I have an $140,000 spatula that I'm not even using. I am ready. Let's do it. Plot. Plot. Not even going to know what hit it. Miss Fujinomiya, we've been expecting you. Whoa! Thank you. That's Chitose? Man, this place is stuffy out the ass. Whew. How's the view? Crystal clear. Gotta hand it to the Daidoji. <laughs> this really is just like 007. If you say so. We're about to set foot inside. If we start to lose connection, let me know. Okay. Look after those two, Kiryu-san. 
And be careful. Will do. All right. Oh damn, Chitose's earring though. <sighs> damn suit's gonna suffocate me. Yeah, tell me in a suit is weird. Socks make my feet feel all itchy. And why doesn't everyone just wear sandals? Ugh. Can you grow up? We're on a mission. Right this way, Miss Fujinomiya. Mm, wonderful. Well, Kiryu-san? Care to be my arm candy tonight? As you wish. No! I want that to be me! No! No! Whoa! Oh, damn. That was cool. I'm uh, so hey, jealous. Guys, what, what do I get to do? I don't know. Hold my drinks. What? <laughs> oh, come on! I'm so jelly. I want that to be me! <laughs> Oh, bro. <laughs> exactly, it should have been me. Exactly. Bruh, come on. I, I want that Kiryu treatment. God damn. She is the luckiest bitch in this whole wide world. I swear to God. We're on the elevator. You still with us? A little spotty here and there, but it's fine. The security at District 5 was nothing compared to this. No kidding. Chichon really came through for us. Thank you for waiting. Floor seven and a half. Good luck to you. Seven and a half. So, the casino's just begun, huh? Right. The real game's about to begin. Wait, I want those fries. God, I want food. Yeah. This is way cheesier than I imagined. No. This place is definitely catering to the VIPs. Take a look. What are those? Gaming plaques for all the high rollers. One right there is a hundred grand. <laughs> for one bet? Fuck that. Kasuga. You seeing this? Yeah. Anyone look like the kind of guy Wong To might approach? Like someone really raking it in? Not yet. We're about to be that. Hey, handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we staring at boobs? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Just giving you a little change of scenery. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing that? How thoughtful. Bro. Didn't see anyone winning big or making a show. <laughs> Most of the guests here are Asian. And look, oh, they're Jesus all having Christ. a blast. He's helping the homies. I can't. Hey, I just overheard some of the other guests. Apparently, the owner's gonna show up soon. The owner? That has to be Wong To, right? Yep, sure is. Seems he's here just about every day. You said soon. How soon we talk? Well, I can't say for sure. <sighs> Actually, yes, I can. He's here. Hmm. 
Isn't that our man? Welcome to the Nirvana Hotel. Your family's contributed so much to us over the years, Chitosi Fujinomiya. <laughs> Not wrong, Toe. Oh, and our unannounced guest, Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. <gasps> So you knew from the start. And I thought you might have noticed. Before you even stepped inside, we already run all sorts of body checks on you. No reason we can't sniff out a few spy gadgets, especially here. After all, we welcome VIPs from every corner of the globe. Oh, for VIPs, this crowd sure doesn't act like it. They're a special breed. The guests here have grown tired of the usual luxury, you see. They come here because they want to satisfy their superiority. Over what? Over this whole idealistic country. That's what. These people share a common thread. They were all chasing after the great American dream. A dream that prizes machismo and freedom over I all I never else. understood the American dream. The America I still don't. Too <laughs> I, good to I, be never, true. I don't know. Yet all it the while, always was weird. they told them they were vastly inferior. So to rid themselves of that feeling, they worked their fingers to the bone. But by the time their hard work might have finally paid off, the America they knew was long gone. This new America valued diversity, condemned masculinity, and now more than anything, put caution over freedom. Right. And you're dealing out the American dream in spades, is that it? Exactly. This is the America they held in their hearts. A place of promise they secretly hated just as much as they sung its praises. And we let our guests fulfill their heart's desires to the absolute fullest. Quite a concept, wouldn't you say? Enjoy yourselves. I'm sure you'll agree. Unfortunately, we're not here for that. We're here for you. Well, that's quite the honor. You're most welcome. Especially this Kasuga I've been hearing so much about. Might I ask that he join us as well? Tell him to stay put. They're up to something. No. Whatever his goal is, he's threatening Kasuga right now. He's saying if he doesn't come... We'll all die. <sighs> I see you know how this works. That's it then. You get all that? Yeah. I'll head up right now. Oh boy. <sighs> Seems he's here. Oh boy. Oh my god. Jay, you guys all right? All good. <laughs> I swear, I will never get used to this sort of thing. You don't Not think? the bow tie. Glad you could make it. Welcome, Ichiban Kasuga. Thanks for the invite. There's a lot I need to ask you. They kept Not this when I have questions for you. And I'm sure you know what those are. Akane-san, right? We're here for the same thing. That's fine. But... It's a little loud here. Please, why don't we take this to the back of the house? Drinks are, of course, on me. Not gonna let us enjoy the place a bit? We're here as your guests, after all. My apologies. However, a minute with me is rather expensive. Suffice to say, you might as well have hit the jackpot. Aren't we lucky? Just putting it out there. Anyway, let's go. He's not wrong. He is not wrong. <laughs> Please. What the? Oh, wait. wait. The 
this is it. This is the big boss's office? I heard of cutting corners, but man. <laughs> we got an all-access tour of your friends the Barracuda's place the other day. Their boss's pad is straight out of a mafia movie. Guess you like to keep things simple, huh? A long time ago, I was desperate to surround myself with expensive things. I worked for my money. But why not? But at some point, I came to see the truth of it all. If it had a price, I could get it. Whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it. As long as I was sure of that, the possessions didn't matter. Have, have not, it makes no difference. This is all I need. The things that get the job done. For me, that's this desk, this chair, and this computer. The people out there rejoice and wallow over dice and cards. And with every passing bet, they're still none the wiser. So maybe the customer isn't king. But all that aside, I can't say I'm one for looking down on people. <laughs> Perhaps I said too much. I doubt there's very many who could relate. Now, to the matter at hand. Ichiban Kasuga, you're the estranged son of Akane, the director of the Palekana Orphanage. Do I have that right? Actually, I'm still trying to confirm that myself. But yeah, probably. We're looking for Akane as well. If you know her whereabouts, I ask that you please tell us. Naturally, we won't leave empty-handed. Sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Huh. You seem confident in that. Care to put it to the test? No, I was liking you. Huh? What do you say? <laughs> like it even matters. For some reason, you I was liking better get this guy. Ready. He was, I don't know, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Oh, nice. He got the moves. Oh, dang. That was hot. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty hot. Move around so much. You got friggin' stance. I can't land a single hit. Attack without thinking. He's gonna dodge every last one. Follow my lead. I have the solution to the problem. Just don't bother attacking him. Time to put you down. Maybe I can hit him with this move. Fuck! I don't know why, but like here I'll show you guys too. So I put in my in my notebook of like character first impressions, I put wrong toe as blue. I don't know. Don't ask me why. I didn't put him as fully red though. Oh, 
if I just keep doing my Essence of Dondoko beam, then we're gaming. I just need some alcohol. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just wait. IPA? Yeah. IPA. Let's go. I won't hold back. This is, yeah, recovery over time. Why is Chitose red? Because I still don't trust her. Never trusted her from the start. I think she's pretending to be good and she's just a little bitch and she'll be a little bitch till the end. They are so dead. There, I hit him. Ooh, that was a nasty attack. this my sujimon adam grants a nearby ally re hp recovery does not heal the sujimon nothing can <laughs> nothing can heal the sujimon they're doomed forever i really want okay i really want all three of us to be in a circle but my 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 teammates don't want to work together here. Well, I'm waiting. Maybe I could do this. This is weird. I've never done this Sujimon skill. Thanks. Okay, that was not as strong as I was supposed to be. Burning arrow, you've got to hit this time, buddy. Come on. Oh! Oh no! Now we're never gonna hit him again. Sorry if I messed this up. I'm just gonna. We're just never gonna hit him. I don't even think a back attack is gonna. Oh, I did hit him from the back. At least. You got this, Ichiban. I'm just looking for a back attack. God damn it. I had it for one second. Oh well. <laughs> this is gonna miss. Should I just stab him from the back? Yeah. I may have underestimated. No, 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 no. Oh, it's just a regen. Okay. I can handle that. Dude, he's so dead. He's so fucking dead. Wow. 
dead. I love the combat. It's so awesome. Woo! Damn, buddy. I think I'm getting better at this. Impossible. Just who are you? <laughs> Looks like your numbers were off a bit, huh? No, he's running. That was so hot. <sighs> now we can finally hash things out. You've got a lot to tell us, after all. <sighs> Shit. I want to know why you're after Akane-san. What are you going to do once you find her? Also, who the hell told you I was her son? Maybe try one question at a time. Oh, it's your pick. You're telling me either way. Look, you're all out of chips at this point. See? Lot. Wangto, right? So then should I assume you're the boss of the Ganja? More like Commander. Oh, hey, my bad. All right, Mr. Commander. Why go through all this trouble to get to Akane-san? She's just the director of some orphanage. What's a nice lady like her got to do with you? Better answer while it's still me asking questions. I'm getting the questions. notebook ready. Kiryu-san's not as friendly as I am. You were tougher than I expected. So I'm actually a little worn out. You're, Kiryu, you're not supposed to admit Don't that. Don't worry. A few minutes with me, and you'll practically be singing. I Look, wish that was I me. prefer giving that mug of yours a break. Besides, you've got your boys watching you. Making you cry out in the open like this seems a little cruel, don't you think? I'd rather not embarrass you. We were asked to look for the old lady. It's the same with the barracudas. It's a... The same thing! I have that note from chapter 4. They were requested to look for Akane overseer? by someone that they what don't do you know. Are you the overseer here? I'm not talking about some pit boss who runs things at the Nirvana. I mean the overseer of this whole state. Wait, all of Hawaii? The Ganja and the Barracudas may seem like competition on the surface. But in reality, we're all just cells of the Overseer. In the end, he's the one pulling the strings. <sighs> that meddlesome woman. She made off with the Overseer's treasure. If we were to get it back, then he'd owe us for all it's worth. It's in a fact, Bina. I'm sure he'll pay that, and then some. The hell? Tongshuai, <laughs> Huh? Hey, sit down. I like how his description is baby-faced man in a suit. Laubahuichangbeginin. Kill him! Kill him! Tommy, stab him! Hey, say something we can understand. Stab the guy. Oh, come on, Tommy. My life friend! Jump. What is going on? Hey. 
Hey, you understood him. What was he saying? That my betrayal would be known by all. Overseer included. So the guy who jumped, he was one of the Overseer's spies. What else did he say? He said something about setting off a signal. And he jumped. A signal? Then is that why he jumped? Was his death the signal? The way that his body is on the ground, danger. though. My son! What? His... I don't know, it seemed weird. It seemed like a weird position to die in. Hurry up and untie them! My boy needs them now! Wait, huh? Uh, but... I'm not too clear on it, but do what he says. It seems like an emergency. Oh, if you say so, Kiryu-san. Please, let me see my son. He's in the penthouse. It's, it's on the top floor. Fine, but not on your own. We're coming with you. Then this way, hurry! I feel like I had the right idea about Rongto. He's a he's a decent guy, I think. Maybe. He's a morally gray character. That's what he is. You want to buy something? Yes, I do. Do you have assorted cigarettes? <laughs> oh, you have first aid kits. Sure. Could you use more of those? Um, I got money. It's me, I have money. It's me, I have money. I like money. I have a lot of it. Give me that and that and give me all of that. I love oh pepperoni pizza sounds so good right now. Oh, I want pizza. I haven't had pizza in like two months, three months maybe? It's been way too fucking long. Hey, how old is your son? He's only six. His mother left him some time ago. I've got a sitter with him. Six, huh? He's just a little guy. Yo, that's fast. We're too late. My son's already been taken. Then, are these guys? That's right. More pawns of the Overseer. Seems I have no one left to trust. That's okay, I'm up. I want Wong to fight with us. <laughs> I love that move. Let's get it done. Open I find you to this place. Return to the spirit. Nice. Don't get caught. Follow my lead. I want to like bonk both of these guys, but I, I can't. I can't. Can you like step forward or something, you idiot? Hey, hey, hey! Can you like step forward? That'd be great if you could just like take a step. Okay, fuck you. I like how <laughs> I just noticed 
I just noticed Mr. Wrong Chowla. <laughs> He's just standing there. In front of the four guys, not doing anything. He's just standing there. Oh, I was enjoying the jam. <laughs> oh, he beat them up. Hunt <laughs> 所以你儿子现在没事的。So <笑> some person is using Can you where they're taking your son? They're using no. the Crime organizations in Hawaii to get Please. Akane, yeah, to get which you know sounds very similar to, I guess, Daidoji right a little now, bit. There's no knowing which of my men I can trust. Here, you son. I think Let's they have to be Japanese. Hotel. Come on, we need to find a safe place. I think it's a Bina. Actually, Sawashiro? Nah. I don't know. Nigga. Be the beat all. Quit all. That guy might have been an ally, you know? At this point, who's to say? We've no time to worry about him. Wong Tos left the hotel with Kasuga and his crew. They're heading south. So make sure you tell the cops they went north. Got it. Over here! Someone just fell out the window! Come quick, I've never seen anything like this! Hello? Yeah, Eichan? Kasuga-san, the news is all over the internet. What happened out there? An employee was thrown out of a window at the Nirvana Hotel. Kasuga. Oh, sorry, Aton. We'll talk later. The police are taking off. What's that mean? Simple. We're on our own. If the police didn't see it, it's not their problem. Jesus. Damn it. That bastard. Is there anyone he doesn't control? Hey, tell me. Have you always been public enemy number one? No! I was... The overseer played me. I never expected this. Well, maybe you should have. Shut your mouth! That's enough. I'll stay calm. <laughs> Shut your mouth. I'll make it out of this. I mean, he's kind of going through a lot. He's high true. stress. His son is Let's taken. Go. Yeah. I don't blame the guy. Okay. Oh, boy. So many people. So many people. Break yourself! Oh, baby! Return to the spirit world! Follow my lead. Hey, you good? Okay! Take this fist! And shove it! Let's go. 
Even this music's a bop. I like this too. Oh. They keep buffing themselves up like they're gonna actually survive or something. Like, bitches, no, you ain't. All right, here we go. Oh, that was the wrong way. Oh! Oh, just catch. Game. All right, we did it. <sighs> yeah. Ah! For a son of a bitch. Ah! Hey, one toe. Shit, Chichan, have you got a bandana or something? We gotta tie this up and stop the bleeding. Yeah, hold on. I think I had something. Wong Toe's key here, and we'll need the time to talk. What's more, we need somewhere we won't get attacked. Well, for that, we'll want to get ourselves a car. Still, let's start by getting out of here. Hey, Ichiban, we're moving Wong. Give me a hand here. <laughs> Ooh. Shit. Oof. Yo, Ichiban, let's stop here for now. Give him a sec to breathe. Hey, you all right, Wong Toe? I'm feeling a bit lightheaded now. I think everything was fine. Before you all showed up. We just ruined this man's yeah. life. Must be hard. All right, I'll find us a car. No point trying to get him up on his feet again. Good plan. We'll get him patched up once we're at the safe house. Give me a second. I feel like I... It'll be a bit of, like, cutscenes and plot, so I'm gonna get some snackies, my grapes. Give me, like, a minute, okay? Y'all, I have so many grapes. Okay, let's do this. Appreciate it. I'll come back as soon as I can. Yeah, Godspeed. Are you sure he won't betray you? <laughs> hey, maybe you can't exactly trust anyone right now, but Tomi will come through. Oh, well. Even if he does keep his word, it won't mean all that much to a dead man. Well, you look all right to me. Just hang in there. There's a lot we still need to hear from you. <laughs> and that would be... You were looking for Akane-san. That's because this overseer asked you to, right? 
You said Akane-san's on the run with some kind of treasure. Yeah. Who is this guy? Just who is this overseer? Abina. The overseer. He's got more control over the island than I never thought possible. He plays spies in my organization, spies in the police. He's even got insiders with the Barracudas. And their loyalty, the lengths they'll go to, it's the real deal. You saw it, didn't you? The way that man jumped back there. He gave his life just so I'd be branded a traitor. For no reason other than calling me out. It's crazy, dude. The overseer. The one in charge. Is Bryce. Bryce? As in the sage of Polycana. Conniving old bastard. We know Bryce is He's the murderer the from the beginning. But I have a hard time search. believing that no he's way. the overseer. Uh, I met him. He's the one behind this? Why? After everything Akane-san's done, all she wanted was to help people. And now, an entire religion's coming after her? We knew he was shit, but like, I don't know, maybe Bryce is working for Abina. Okay, Abina has to be in here somewhere. I don't think it's all about Bryce. There's more to it. But why? I mean, wasn't Polycana... Akane-san believed in that stuff too, right? Seriously, why is Akane-san so important to these guys? See for yourself. We caught this on camera about two weeks back. Polycana. It's their orphanage, right? Sure seems like it. Yeah. This is where she worked. Look here, Kasuga. That's the same the photo. The picture that Daidoji faction gave me is the same photo. Whoa, you're right. Hey, tell me, who's this girl with Akane-san? She's not just some girl. You see, Bryce is really after her. Uh -huh. Her name is Lonnie. Wait, what? That makes me question if the Daidoji did that on purpose. Too? Like, the, having a zoomed-in picture of Akane and, and just disregarding the girl? I don't know. Daidoji is still fucked, too. This island. Bryce may think of himself as its new god, but she could take that all away. The girl's his Achilles heel. Knowing how Bryce works, he'll do whatever it takes to track her down and snuff her out. Snuff her out? A poor little girl? You said her name's Lonnie? What the hell's Bryce want with the- That was weird. That was really weird. Could she have had a daughter? No, that'd be fucked up. That'd be so fucked up, oh my god. I am deleting that train of thought. Like I'm her. not going there. What's killing her gonna solve? 
Nah, bro. First, who is Bryce really? How does one man control all no, of the wise on No, no. Fuck not. Nah. that? I don't know the details myself. By the time I started gaining prominence here, Bryce was already the sage of Polycana. And well in charge. Right, okay. And how far back was that? This was 30 years ago. Fair to say Bryce was always here. There's a connection to Kiryu, though. The underworlds lasted at least all this time. And get this. He looked exactly the same back then. 30 years ago? Wait, then how old is he now? Sounds like he's easily over 90. If that's really the case, he must be some kind of monster. Back in my early days, I had my sights set on expanding to America's mainland. In a sense, Hawaii was supposed to be a sort of stepping stone. Things were going well. I had driven out the existing Chinese presence and become the king of a new regime in Hawaii. And it's been Ganja ever since, huh? That's right. But something occurred just as I was about to make my next move. You see, it was then I got a visitor. I speak for the Overseer. That was how he greeted me. The Overseer? By that he meant Bryce? Correct. Though I didn't know that at the time. Naturally, all I saw was a no-name fool spitting hollow threats. And given my newfound status here, I promptly sent him packing. That was a grave mistake. Huh? No more than a week later, I received a mysterious package. It was a small cardboard box. Even stranger, the sender was my hometown. <sighs> when I looked inside, I found a head staring back at me. And it wasn't just anyone's. It was my mother's. <gasps> to uncover my place of birth alone was by no means an easy task. But he'd quickly proven otherwise chose to shove it in my face and it was then and there I knew what I was up against and after that it will side with Bryce or suffer the consequences right granted I was always looking for a chance at revenge truly I may have kneeled but I could never let my mother's death go unanswered to that end I went to great lengths selecting men I could trust there was no knowing what would make its way back to Bryce. And still... That suit, right? Bryce's spies were right under your nose the whole time. So it would seem. Furthermore, Palakana's at the heart of this whole mess. Bryce's spies... They're bred from within Palakana itself. What? Like brainwashing? Exactly. He uses his position as sage to influence believers. And once he has their trust, he makes himself their object of worship. Those he lures in follow his every command. Not even death is off the table, long as it's for his sake. You saw that for yourself back at the hotel. Bryce's role as Palakana Sage is everything to him. It's more than just a front, much more. Okay, Bryce is no joke. Get that. But back to my original question. The hell is this Lonnie so important to him? Well, I'm not sure. It's like I said before. As far as we know, Dwight and I are only following Bryce's orders. That's not to mention that we rarely receive those from the man himself. However, this time, we did. He told us to find the girl named Lonnie at all costs, and that Akane be with her. He said she was trying to keep her safe. That's all we were ever told. No rhyme or reason. Bryce had given the order. And with that, we had no choice but to follow. Ah, White left that out. In fact, he was pretty vague about things. He told us an unknown client offered him 10 mil and that's it. Hmm. The Overseer's identity is the last thing he let slip. Wouldn't you know? He bought his story, hook, line, and sinker. No, he didn't. Sneaky bastard. Who knew he was I such a I never bought actor? his story. Anyway, if this was some Bullshit. rare direct order from Bryce, and the Kane-san and this Lonnie girl are special, you wouldn't pull out all the stops otherwise. 
that's why you thought Lonnie was Bryce's weak point. Is that right? Yeah. I thought if I could get my hands on her, Bryce would be the one bowing down to me. But I was foolish. So we got mafia bosses and casino managers at play. Two grown-ass men with pretty major titles chasing after a kid with no real clue as to why. <sighs> and then there's Akane-san. She must have realized that Lonnie was being targeted. Fair to say, that's why she ran off with her. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I'm gonna do something illegal, I'm sorry. Based on this, she looks about ten. That right? Ten. Yeah. She's just a kid. Her best hope was someone pulling her from the line. Ten. Ten. No, that's impossible. I'm trying to think of timelines in the Yakuza franchise. Kiwami, that would be way more than 10 years. Oh my god. My br sorry, my brain is going nuts. I <sighs> I'm really embarrassed at the thoughts that are in my head right now. So maybe I'll say them later, but for right now, nah. <laughs> I keep it to myself. No, no, no. Don't skip. No. Instead, if not for Akane-san, she'd have never stood a chance. Kiryu-san. She needs our help. Right now, it's darkness at every turn for her, and there's no end in sight. No. Oh, that's when Haruka had to hold the gun. She needs someone to show her there's a way out. That there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. I'm with you on that 100%, Kiryu-san. They have my son, too. <laughs> Palikana stole him from me. I won't abandon him. <sighs> Now what? From the looks of it, they aren't with me. Ahoy! Wong To! Oh, hey, it's our boyfriend. <gasps> we know you're still out there. You're still limping around. Must be fun, eh? Come on and show yourself. I'll fix you right up. It's your my. He must have sniffed us out. You saying he works for Polycana too? No. To Yamai, Hawaii's just another rock out at sea. He's nowhere on the overseer's radar. He's too small time to be. Yeah. Then what's he doing here? From where Yamai sits, the Ganja are collapsing. This is the perfect chance to wipe us out. And sure enough, he's taking it. You fellas are here too, yeah? Kasuga, Kiryu-san. Wong To's the main event tonight. Hand him over, and I guarantee you boys will go out in one, maybe two swings. Gee, how generous. Doesn't look like they're coming out, boss. 
Maybe they scampered off. Nah, not while the Gib's still with them. Unless they've got a stretcher, they're not going anywhere. They're probably skulking around in the shadows. But boss, how the hell do we find him when it's this dark? What? Having trouble seeing? All right then, let me get a light. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, allow me, boss. No, you can't do that. Hey, I don't hear anything. You think they backed off? Bro, you no can't way. do that. You might would never give up that easily. <sighs> That's for sure. <sighs> oh, come on. Oh my god! Just for one well, guy? This that's fucked up. Things. Okay, that's Plus, that's bad. That's war. <laughs> Murdering people? So, I don't care. Birds, there's plenty. There's billions of people in the world. Stone. But burning trees? Oh, you're dead to me. Shit. Cold out here. He's out of his mind. We're gonna get fried if we stick around. Let's move. Uh, uh, yeah, murdering trees is where I draw the line. Murdering people, that's eh, whatever. Hurry! It's spreading fast! Thank goodness. We can rest here. You sure about that? Oh, jeez. Jeez, what took you? Guess we're out of options. Okay, so we take him out. Then what do we do? Not to worry, Chichan. We'll make it out. Tomi, I hope you're ready, pal. Right then. I wonder how you'll handle things this time around, Kazuma Kiryu. Let's see whether the dragon breathes fire or his last breath, shall we? Let's do it! Something fell down! I think it's from one of these trees. Maybe we can use it. It's too hot. The fire is out of control. Yeah, last thing we want is to get too close. <laughs> Booty pop. This is a lot of bitches, though. This is this is a lot of bitches. Gotta get rid of all the guys. I wanna no, don't go over there. I wanna booty pop. Booty pop, booty pop. Casually burning alive, it's I wish I had Essence of Don Doko Beam. Damn it! No! I should have done that at the opening. Everybody would be dead right now. I have the cheating move, and I didn't do it. I'm an idiot. Stop. God damn it. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you ruined everything. Open one. I 
I won't hold no. back. Y'all move way too much. Oh my god. I swear to god. Alright, the other guy will bleed to death. Tomi is my strongest character! I'm surprised he's not just going after Kiryu this time. Okay, I'm gonna do the busted thing. I should have done this at the start, goddammit. It might be a little bit late, but whatever. This is amazing. I love this. No, don't don't go four star isn't hard. I think once you get oh to three star, because like what happened to me, whenever I got to rank three stars, getting four and five took me like one or two days. Like it was a lot easier after getting past three. Oh, I can take the burning log. Sure. I don't think that's gonna hit either of them. Especially Kiryu, you're stepping away from the circle. You're an idiot. Not my fault if you die, Kiryu. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Gotta hold it together. Ooh. Let's see. What's the hold up? I'll just take the burning stuff. Stupid yellow. Yeah, what, what a little bitch. I should do regen. That would be a smart thing to do. Look at Kiryu go. Such a dancer. Okay, I'm up. We should do some fun stuff. I have money. Well, I'm waiting. These are kind of weak at this point. I don't know. We uh, we have money. Oh, <gasps> Nancy and Olivia! No, I should I should do that next time. Oh, uh, <laughs> Patriarch God Dewar. Yeah, we should be using one of these. Now that I have money, I can just throw money at all my problems in this game. It's great. This isn't that... Okay, we just have to see all of these. Okay, go, go ahead. Wait, with benefits? I don't know what that means. But it's $4,000. Oh, well, spend it. Oh, wait, I can't do it. God damn it. Damage, Gondawara. Wow, you're such a. Now he's just here. It's just. <laughs> God, this shit is so stupid. And I love it. What did you do? What's the hold up? Yeah, 
I don't have any MP. I don't want to use any items anymore. I'm still freezing. It's gonna take, eh? Go get him, Gondawara. <laughs> I won't hold that. Shit, dude. Something wrong. We're gonna be fine. I'm just wondering how hard I wanna go. I don't think I really wanna. Additional charge a hundred thousand dollars? What? I'm a rich bitch, but I ain't that rich. Jesus Christ. I don't want to use special attack. Get him. Get him, Gondwara. Let's go. Later. Hear you? You get to kill him. Yes, I'm a fast learner. <laughs> Learning more every Okay. I have something on my mind. I'm so sorry. It's really bothering me. Never been so Oh, and now I have to watch myself. Oh, that's so weird. I know I'm I'm look, I'm not supposed to do this. But I also have to. It's really bothering me. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. Let me make sure. Wait, oh my god, I don't have fuck, I don't have the uh, display capture. Give me a sec. I thought I had display capture. Hey, there. That's that's my Twitch. Yes. Great. Okay. Let's uh put it back there. Okay. Put it on the right monitor. <clears throat> Primary? Okay. Is this it? No? Wait, why is it not... What is happening? Wait, it's not showing... Oh, it is showing the right monitor. Jesus. Okay. So yeah, I'm cheating. I'm just watching my old playthrough. I need to watch the opening scene. Mind the road now. That, never mind. There are dogs on the loose around here. So my my guess is like this this guy that originally had the necklace was the sage, and Bryce killed him so that he could have the sage and he could have the power. But like it still is a question of why. I suppose you're right, but dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. Oh, it's cheap! Outright says Bryce's name. I didn't. I don't remember that. What happened? Someone's out there. Oh my god! No. What bothers me is the time. We don't know when this was Good way taken. To start the game. Oh, I just How long ago out that was necklace. this scene? It, it stood out a lot. Are we finished? God damn. What's going on? I'm guessing that's like the symbol reward. of power. All you have to do is steal the necklace and then you're the sage. We just started the game and four people are immediately dead out of five. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. I just needed a refresher on that. That's all I really was looking for. Okay. I got my refresher. Moving right along. No, don't skip. Oh, shit. I'm shivering. Hold it up, okay, Kirin son? Yeah. No, not for long. If we don't move, we're dead. Oh? We want to leave Wang Cho behind then? No way in hell we'll drag him out of here in time. Wait! Come on! You gotta help me! Hey, we couldn't even if we wanted to. The only way we're getting out of this is... He's here! Look sharp, everyone! <laughs> Told me that was Wait. reckless! Here, give me a hand! The fuck, dude? Come on, try to push through it! Go and take the wheel, Chitose. Right! <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. So this is how the legend ends, I see. Forget it! Just go! If we all get ourselves killed, Akane and Lani will have no one. Chitose, time to roll! No, no way! Not yet! I can take care of myself. Go! God, I can't. chose to cut and run, eh? All that, and the only thing I'm left with is a dying fossil. You know, there was once a time when I actually looked up to you. What a waste. <laughs> I know he's fine, but like, in my head, I my brain is so goddamn desperate <laughs> that there is this evil little voice in the back of my head that's like, Akiyama just swooped in to save the day. Because I really want to see that bitch so bad. Akiyama just like flies in from nowhere, saves Kiryu. Because I want it to happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm having so much copium. I miss Akiyama so goddamn much. <laughs> Every single game that we play, I'm just trying to see if they if they bring him back. So I'm just like trying to insert him into the plot where where it can happen. You know what? It can happen. Looks like they turned off Kiryu-san's phone. GPS really would have helped us out about now. Indeed. Just try to take it easy for now, Kasuga-san. Right. Sorry. From what everyone said, it's best to assume Kiryu-san's been captured. If they'd killed him, there'd be no reason to disable the GPS. True. Well, hang on. Kiryu-san still could have been dumped out at sea, right? I mean, I'd have shut his phone off real quick. I suppose that's possible, isn't it? Though your inability to read the room is truly remarkable. Huh? Uh, well, I mean, I just thought we should consider all the angles. Tell me, maybe consider shutting up first. Ooh. Ugh. Kiryu-san wouldn't go down that easy. Still, right now he needs all the help he can get. And fast. Yes. In fact, our search for Akane-san and Lani will have to wait. His rescue should be our number one priority. Huh. I figured you'd say the opposite. You thought I'd write Kiryu off as a pawn and tell you to stick to the mission? It's true. He is being used by the Daidoji faction. However, he simply cannot be replaced. If our mission wants any hope of success, 
Kiryu-san must be brought to safety. What does Hanawa know? He knows something, and it's pissing me the fuck off. He knows more. Visited once. Good. This will be quick then. Kiryu-san will be back before we know it. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. We barely escaped our last battle without lunatic, remember? And let's not forget that we're down Kiryu-san this time. It's gonna be tough. Hanawa-san, think we can count on you for backup? I get winded just walking up the stairs. Does that answer your question? We'll ask someone else. I can't believe Kiryu-san took orders from this guy. <laughs> he didn't really have a choice. Oh, hi. We need a plan if we're going after Yamai. I wonder what everyone else is thinking. Oh, hi. We've got to get him out of there. Yeah. The hmm. dragon of Dojima. Hanawan-san told me all about it. Hard to believe things turned out like this. Yamai's turf in Night Square near Anaconda Center. I thought for sure you'd leave no. me behind back there. Polykana still has your son, right? I'm gonna wring that snake Bryce's head. Head? Head? head, head. I just mixed up head and neck. I, I, I did talk to everybody. Oh, I didn't talk to Hanawa. Very well. <laughs> Hanawa isn't everybody. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Why is the Daidoji faction looking for her? Don't tell me you're after Lonnie, too. Hanawa really doesn't know. <sighs> okay. Hey, Kasuga. Yo, it's your old pal. Adachi-san? Who else? Aloha! <laughs> Care to guess where I am right now? Uh, well, uh, hey, look, I'm happy you called, but I'm kind of busy right now. I don't exactly have time to chat. Oh, figured as much. In fact, I had a pretty big hunch. Huh? Where are you at right now? I'm ready to pitch in, so maybe come get me. I mean it. I'm walking out of the airport. The airport? Wait, in Walking Hawaii? out of the airport? Hey, hey, I'm here too, Ichiban. It's your best buddy, Nambasan. Yo! Hang on a sec. What are you guys up to? You know how boring things get when you're out of work? We figured you might need some help your first time out of the country. So we're here to please. You guys rule. I really, really need your help. Like, right now. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yo, the You're bros right coming in clutch. Uh, How about we meet at the beach instead? Sorry to hit you with the drama straight away, but um, I'm in a jam with the Yakuza. The boys are back in town. Let's we go. Gotta save Kiryu-san this time around. Why did they come what? to Hawaii? Was I taking too long? Here, they got worried about me. Have a chance. See you soon. Oh, they probably saw the viral video. We got our reinforcements. Let's not keep Kiryu-san waiting, huh? You guys are pretty tough, huh? Than Imagine us. having friends that would do that for you. Trust me. God, I fucking best wish. The best. Anyway, I have a video that goes viral I'll online, and then later. the bros are like, oh, you know what? We could help out our friend out in Hawaii. And then they spend thousands of dollars on an air flight just to help you out because they're, they're your bros. Thanks, like, bro, I don't have any friends that would do that. Or at least I don't think I have any friends that would do that for me. Holy shit. Chitose Buster Holmes. We're running a campaign. We'll be giving away gifts to some of our regulars. If you're interested, you can find me at Oahu Burger. Okay. Yeah, they're both unemployed too, so it means so much that they that they they came. That's so nice. I was gonna end the stream, but I at least have to go get my bros. Let's go. They're so real for that, aren't they? This is it. 
That came out well. Yo, Ichiban. Huh? Nanba, Adachi san. They're this is here. Keep you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really here! Man, it was like a lifetime since we last saw each hey, other. come on. It hasn't been that long. What the hell you been doing out here? Better question. Who are the kids, huh? The kids? Oh, right. <laughs> uh, let me introduce you. <laughs> this is Chi-Chan and Tony. Yeah, how's it going? We've been duking it out with every gang on the island. Now, we're all pals. Hey there. I see. So they're the new party for Hawaii, huh? <laughs> Got it. All right, but what's this about gangs? How'd you even get involved in something like that? I thought you were here to meet your mom. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of a long story. Wait, yeah, they didn't see the video? Not, I mean, I was born and uh, raised and... I, I think that's going a little too far back. Uh, next time, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Kiryu-san's locked up in enemy territory. Give me a sec, and I'll get you guys up to speed. Sure. Sorry to spring that, seeing as you just got here. Uh, this ain't the first time, and sure as hell ain't the last, right? They're my bros, yeah, man. They're my bros. I can't believe this. Be sitting on your ass. Plus, it's for Kasuga. If I gotta get jerked around now and then, so be it. <laughs> well, I told you, they're the best, uh, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> you're <laughs> yeah, right. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, sure, right. right. Uh, okay, we got a dragon to save. <laughs> that up, I'm gonna have to get some of that poke. <laughs> Me and the boys. Me and the boys. And girl. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so the place this Yamai characters hold up is called Night Square. Is that right? Curious sounds gotta be there. Yeah, we want him back. Taking down Yamai is the only way. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> no time for sightseeing on this voyage, I guess. Kiryu-san comes first, and then, I promise, I'll show you around. Let's go. Yamai's little castle's about to get stormed. Well, it's a crazy plan, but still... We'll do anything for Kiryu. Now, is it? Not bad at all. All right. High time Kiryu-san got rescued. Hurry your ass up, Ichiban. Clock's ticking, yeah? Yeah, here we go. I'm counting on you. You hear? Wait, are they not joining the party or? They are. Okay, okay. I was like, wait, they're walking away. I was like, no. Yay, we have them back. Five party members. Oh, one on standby. Uh, okay, you can change. Got it. Hi, number. Why does Namba look like an idiot? <laughs> His smile looks so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. What a stupid face. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh man. Oh hey, look, a friend. Hi. Well, I have my friends back. That's interesting. gotta get off stream friends so reminder no stream tomorrow um i'm away for the weekend i will be back on monday with more of this beautiful beautiful game we're in chapter seven now which means i'm probably only halfway through the game honestly but we've done a lot of sub stories i've done like every mini game on monday i will make sure to be ready to face ace 
Sujimon. So we'll, I'll try to continue the Suji. I'll train a little bit off stream for the Sujimon sub story. We'll see how much I can train with my Sujimon. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you being here. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for being here. And I shall see you on Monday, everybody. Bye!